be uh, fake or whatever, but each week I will be having live webinars. I'm going to be teaching on how to open a profitable barber styling school, how to open a salon, how to automate your business, um, how to make money with the man weave units. So every uh, week for three days, at least three days per week, I'm going to be teaching y'all some of the secrets and shortcut some of the things that I've learned. For you all that don't know me, uh, I'm me and that barber on Instagram, Man Weave Unit. I've been a licensed master barber for 28 years, since 1990. I owned a school for 19 years. I opened a school in 1998 with zero students. Grew that school to several hundred students. Um, when I retired from that business, my tuition was 19,500 and I was getting federal aid, financial aid, grants and everything. I will be doing a class on how to open a profitable barber styling school. There will be a free class, um, although I do have an online course with that, but that is my signature course uh, for y'all that are interested in that. So I will be looking to my left and to my right because I'm on YouTube. I got my Instagram phones uh, both right here so y'all can see me live. Everybody that didn't sign up on Instagram they will not be able to see the full, um, the full free thing, uh, actually webinar that I have for you. I got all the tools back here, as you all can see. Uh, I'm gonna be sharing all these tools with you, uh, everything that you need. Um, I'm also gonna be sharing what I learned from a $4,500 man weave unit. Yes, I did go to one of the top men's hair clubs to get a unit because as you see, I wear units, but I don't have my unit in right now. I'm letting it grow out because we're going to do more tutorials. But I learned a lot from that uh, $4,500 man weave unit. Of, I call it a permanent men's custom hair replacement. So I'm going to go into details on what I learned from that. Why would I do that? Basically, I went as a spy because I wanted to know how they were doing over a million dollars a month with men's, uh, non-surgical men's hair replacement. I wanted to know how they were getting all of these customers to come in. Um, I, I just wanted to know all of that stuff, the client intake forms. I wanted to know everything from A to Z, from what link they put on uh, Instagram and, and uh, YouTube and Twitter and Google. When you clicked on that link, I wanted to know what the link said. I want to know uh, when you filled out that form, that free form, what you got back, the script when they called you. I want to know every single detail. And now I have started creating automated business systems for barbers. Uh, you all can go to Oak Master Barber uh, on Instagram. I created an automated business system for him. What did it do? He got clients from overseas. Uh, one client paid, well, not one, several clients have paid him over $4,000 for units where they flew from overseas to uh, West Palm Beach, Florida, and they got their units done. Why? From an automated business system. I see my man MSBS Cuts out there, Mr. Kyan Fox. I'm on live on my webinar, so y'all not going to be able to see everything that's on Instagram. Y'all only be able to see a little bit. So y'all let me know where you're from. Uh, okay, Rashida from Delaware. Uh, let's see. We, we got the caller from Houston. Uh, can y'all hear me out there? I want to make sure that everybody can hear me uh, loud and clear. I know y'all can see me. Uh, we got Vanessa from North Carolina. Uh, we got Kenny from, uh, from New York. Y'all let me know where y'all at. Uh, make sure that you all come on live. Uh, so y'all can tune in live. Okay, we got Nate the Barber from Durham. Uh, we got, uh, let's see, we got Aaron from London, the UK. We got MK from London. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Rashida the Barber from Tupelo, Mississippi. We, we got Mike uh, from Memphis, Tennessee. Vanessa from North Carolina. Uh, 007 the Barber from, from Oakland. Stu the Barber, South Carolina. Uh, let's see, we, we got, who else? Uh, I want to I want to get it. New Orleans in the house, Rosie. Okay, Columbus, Mississippi. Courtney Harris. Uh, we got that's that's Sally's baby. Uh, let's see. 
uh, Amiri from Philadelphia, Freezy the Great from Richmond, Virginia. Uh, let's see who else we got. Y'all let me know where y'all at so I can give you a shout out. Okay, we got Miguel from the Dominican Republic. Uh, we got Brandy. Uh, let's see, Mr. Futuristic Seven from Jackson, Mississippi. Y'all on Instagram, y'all gonna have to come on over here because y'all not gonna be able to see this full presentation. Charlie from Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, Charlie Blackwell up there with Jeffrey Johnson, okay. Dre from Brooklyn, Ruben the Gift, Montreal, Canada. Charles from Clearwater, Lyris, Barber Life. Uh, let's see, from Queens uh, in the house. Let's see. Well, we got uh, Esquire Elite Barber and Jay from Louisiana down in the bayou. Corey from Maryland, Woods the Barber, Lake Charles, Louisiana. Brandy uh, Lamici from Texas in the house. Lyris from Queens. Uh, we got the real Barber Factory, Corey X. Obi from out of Houston, Texas. So I'm going to give a couple of more shout outs for the next two or three minutes, and then we're going to get this party started and move on to the next step. Uh, the, the link keeps asking me to register and I can't get to the webinar. Okay, um, if you, you gotta register, when you register, you will get an email and check your email and then you can get in the webinar. So uh, I may need to, let's see, what's the meeting ID for Zoom? Okay, we got a lot of people on Instagram, so I'm trying to think what, go, what is the best thing for me to do. Uh, Kwame from the Virgin Islands, Y'all gonna have to click that link in the bio and it's gonna send you an email and then you can hop on with us because everybody's on here. Uh, AKA Atlanta, Georgia, uh, ATL drummer girl. Okay, we got two more minutes to counting down. Two more minutes, counting down and then we're gonna get started. Uh, all your questions, I'll be answering questions uh, as we go along. Uh, let's see, who else we got up in here? There's a lot of people on here tonight and i got a lot of stuff that i'm gonna be sharing with you vince wood the barber shen taria a lot of stuff okay so now no more shots out for right now we're gonna get started so what we're gonna do first i'm gonna share some of the tools uh that you're gonna need for doing these units so i'm gonna start this thing off real strong and i'm gonna be giving shots out to people that have uh, actually taught me a lot of stuff. So this is what we're gonna do. The first step, all y'all wanna know, y'all wanna know about the tools. Here we go. I'm gonna start off with how do you get that line perfectly straight? A lot of y'all been wondering how you get that line perfectly straight. Y'all been wondering, where do I even place the line? I don't know if the line goes here. I don't know if it go here. I don't know if it goes there. So I don't know if y'all know, some of y'all, you can place four fingers right here. Some people do three fingers. Another thing you do, you tell people to look straight ahead and with their head facing straight, okay? Problem, Alan, when they, with their head facing straight, this is what you do. When you got their, hand, their head facing straight, Shantari, Vanessa, Vince, Wood, the barber. This is exactly what you do. You tell them to look up. And wherever you see that last wrinkle, if that last wrinkle is right here, what you're going to do, you're going to put that line, start that line right back behind that last wrinkle. Why would you do that, uh, Shantari? Now, a lot of y'all want to know, why would you do that? So the reason why you would do that, Aaron, Charles, Charlie, Cornelius, Corey, uh, Daniel, DeCala, uh, Dresky, uh, Feezy, Amari, Jamelia, uh, Michael Kraft, Miguel from out of Dominica, Monique, MSBS Cuts, my man Charles in the house, Pam, uh, Mook up in the house, Peace and Love, Rashida, uh, Rasheen the Barber, Robert Rose, Ruben the Gift, Ryan, Shantara, Vanessa, Vince. I can't call all these names out. The reason why you place that line behind where it's wrinkling because if you put the line in front of it, when they squinching up and, and their head is wrinkling, their unit is gonna start lifting up, okay? Some of y'all not understand it. The unit, if you place that unit, say you place the unit down here and they, they line should be up here and it's wrinkled up. 
their unit is going to start lifting up. So that's why you place the unit right there. Now, we got to know how we're going to get that line straight. Now, a lot of y'all are not expert barbers like MSBS cuts. A lot of y'all are gifted out there, and you can just look at a person and draw that line, boom, 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 and it's perfect. But for you barbers out there that are not gifted as far as knowing how to draw and write like myself, although my mom is an art teacher, she can draw and look at you. I can't do that. I didn't have that gift. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to share this little trick with you. So I'm going to hit y'all with this trick first. All right, Corey, are y'all ready for this trick? Let me know. Tell me are you ready because if you are ready, let me know. I need some yeses if y'all want to know this little simple trick on how to get perfect lines every single time, okay? This is how you do it. All right, everybody saying yes. Shantara, Jamelia, Rashida, uh, Wood, Mook. All right, here it goes. This is what you do. You get you some little baby powder, all right? And you sprinkle this baby powder. You just take that little baby powder like that, and you sprinkle it. You sprinkle it on some paper. Let me show the people that's on Instagram. Take this baby powder, you sprinkle it on some paper, all right? Here you go. Now, once you sprinkle it on paper, then you're going to get you either, um, you can get you either an old iPhone cord. I know y'all got an iPhone cord. Or you can go in grandmama or granddaddy's room if she still stay with you or your mama's room, uh, like my mama lives with me. If they old, they all got a piece of yarn. So get that piece of yarn and um, you just roll that yarn in the powder. If you can't find no powder and you from the hood like I am and you got a crackhead in your family and they got some powder, then you can dip that in there. And once it comes on white, they may be mad at you, but then that's when you can get that line perfectly straight. Boom. You put it right here. Boom, boom. Do it like that. You got a line. Now, I'm going to tell you this, Jamila, Wood the Barber, if it ain't straight, you're going to hit it again because if you take that pen and draw it on like everybody else is doing that black mark or whatever, it is very difficult to remove. So when we hit it like that, either with a little gram or whatever, if you got crackhead willy sack or you got the baby powder and it's not correct, boom, you just wipe it straight off like that, okay? Like uh, you jab slap them or slap them in the face and wipe it off. Now, if it's not straight, this is what we're going to do, Courtney. All right, Courtney from out of Mississippi, Jamela, we're going to put it on again. Bam. We're going to roll it over there. Roll it over there. Now, you see that it's crooked. So what we're going to do, hit it one time, it's gone. All right. Now, we're going to dip it back in there. And here we go. Just like this. I don't care how you want that line. Then you can roll it like that. Roll it like that. If it ain't straight, I see it's a little off right here. So I'm going to hit it like that. Move it over. Now we're going to work on this side right here. Boom. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Now we're getting it. Okay? You feel me? You feel me, Jamila? Now how y'all like that? All right? I know you. how you like that, Mike. Okay, now, the next step for y'all, some of y'all moving ahead of I me. Mean, you moving ahead, Rashida, Robert, Rose. I'm going to show you another trick. There's a lot of tricks out there, whole lot of tricks. Now, I won't be able to show y'all all the tricks because all the tricks will be in the online class. Now, when we got it like that, boom, next step. Okay, you got that electrician. You know how uh, back in the day, when we had some wires that wasn't right, we had the old electrical tape. So we're going to hit them with the old electrical tape. And we're going to get our scissors out, our shears, but you're not going to cut the tape. You're not going to cut the tape with your barber shears. Why won't you cut the tape with the barber shears? I need somebody to tell me why you're not going to cut this tape with the barber shears. Tell me. Shantara, Vanessa, Vince, Wood, Robert, Ryan Watson, why are you not going to cut it with the electrical tape, Rashida? 
uh, AT Drummer Girl, why not? Why not the barber, Daniel, Courtney, the caller, Feezy? Why are you not going to cut it with electrical tape? Somebody tell me, why can't you cut it? Exactly, Katrina. Make it dull. Who else knows? It's going to make your stuff dull. So now what we going to, it's going to dull the shears, since you're exactly right. That's right. You don't cut nothing but the hair, since you dull the shears, Daniel. So now, uh, this is what we're going to do. All right. You all know this ain't the shears that I use. When we're in the lab, in the operating room, this ain't, that's right, Mr. Futuristic. This ain't the shears that we use. So now we're going to cut it. And when I say cut it, uh, the barber, Jay, I ain't talking about how we used to cut it back in the day, you know, not like we used to uh, have an isotope and cut it back in the day. I'm not talking about that. So here we go. Here we go. Then this is what we're going to do. We're going to hit them like that. Boom. All right, now this is what you got. Now you got a perfect line. Ain't no way you can go wrong. You know how when we paint the house and we go get that old drunk that live in the neighborhood, all drunks, you know, they all good maintenance men can paint or whatever. They're drunk when he's painting, he'll tape the sides up while he's painting your house. Same concept, boom, okay? Now we moving on forward. Let's go back to the lab and we're gonna get Okay, the good old spatula. Y'all can go to manweavunit.com and click on the link for tools. And when you click on that link, it's going to take you straight to Amazon to get the good old spatula. Now, I got to tell y'all something. I got a special glue. When I went to that men's hair club for that $4,500 uh, man weave unit, non-surgical men's hair replacement, they had some glue, and that glue was like some Gorilla Glue, some cement glue, uh, Reuben, Buck, Bruce Buckner Brown, uh, Toya, Jordan. It was like cement glue. So this special glue that I got, y'all don't have that glue out there. What I did, I'm going to tell y'all a little secret. I took the glue that they gave me in case the front raised up after about a month or whatever. I took that glue and uh, the chemist, some of y'all saw me with my head rolled back uh, when I was in West Palm Beach, Florida. Well, that glue, put it right there, boom, bam. Now this glue right here, bam. I know y'all using it, Ghost Bond and uh, a lot of other stuff, but I'm not gonna name drop on here and I never discredit anybody else's glue, but the glue that they was using, that medical grade glue, it's uh, off the chain. It, it's going to, you, you stick something right there. I mean, it's like a, a, a sticky mouse trap. Y'all know them sticky mouse traps? When you touch it, it ain't going nowhere. That's what it's like. So once you hit it like that, towel, 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 towel. And I'm going to tell you something. You ain't got to be squirting that glue all on here. Boom, 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 boom. You're wasting glue doing this. The Spider-Man thing, you are wasting glue. All you gotta do is put a put a little change right there. You don't need that much. And go like that. Because when you do all that, that glue will cake up at the front, and then that unit will be white up here. Some of y'all done already experienced that, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, we're gonna keep it moving, Kwame. So let's go to the next step. I done showed y'all a little bit of that. So now I'm going to take y'all on the road. So we're going to put these back up. And another thing y'all going to need when we get to the, uh, the men's units, the, the permanent units, just like a tailor-made suit, that's what I call the permanent units, the custom. You're going to need a tape measure. And we talk about that in the class. You're going to need this tape measure to measure these units, Katrina, and all of that. Now, for the man weave units, you're not going to need a tape measure. But I wanted to share that with you all. Now, we got, uh, all right, we're moving good on time. So I'm going to put that up. We're going to put this over here. And when you're doing these units and y'all in the lab, this is what you're going to need. 
You're going to need your patties. Your lighting has to be good. I'm telling you, this lighting, your lighting got to be good. I mean, I'm going to cut the lights out. Now, your lighting going to have to be good. Y'all see how bright that light is? When you're doing units and you're in the lab, your lighting going to have to be good. If you don't have good lighting, we all know with no good lighting, you, you're going to mess up. So you need good lighting. So let me cut the lights back on. So make sure y'all get you one of these good headlamps uh, when you're in the lab because you got to have good tools. Now, once you got that tool, another tool that I like is the good old ring light. How many of y'all know about the good old ring light? All right. Now, in the online class, since we're moving out of the beta stage and we're going into the real stage, uh, we got the ring light and we got uh, the, the cameras where everything is perfectly clear. We got the mics hooked up and them ring lights are everywhere. So when y'all take the online class, y'all gonna get to see stuff close up and live and in person. And guess what? You get to look over my shoulder and watch these units. You don't have to go to a live class. Why would you go to a live class? You cannot record it. You don't have a photographic memory. You're only gonna learn one or two units. With the online class, you get a lifetime access. I mean, you can watch it a million times till you can't fall asleep. And once you see the online class, we upload new units every month and new content. So you constantly, constantly gonna learn stuff. So you gotta have a good old ring light. That's what we used on the recording going into the beta stage. Now we're going into this last stage, we've been in the beta stage. Let me move that over. Boom. Now, I bet you don't know what's in these. Well, when I went to the men's hair club and got that $4,500 unit, guess what? Um, once a month, I got maintenance, and they would charge me, uh, Pappy, uh, Mr. Futuristic. Now, once a month, guess what they would do, J uh, J Jamala? Once a month, they would get, would take the unit off. Let me show you this. Once a month, when that unit was uh, on my head, although I can't put this in, on there straight or whatever, but um, once a month, when they removed the unit, uh, they sprayed a remover. And when they sprayed that remover, I mean, it took it right. They started up here, and it took it right off just as easy. And then when they took it off, they, they sprayed some in here, and they cleaned it. And I know y'all wondered how to clean the units with the, uh, for y'all to know how to clean the units with the popsicle sticks, um, and you put the solution on there, you also gonna learn how to do that in the online class, because we're gonna give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to clean the units. Uh, Hemi Red, the barber, my man down in Mississippi. So that's something you're gonna learn. Then, once you, uh, Cut the hair. Also, since we're in the lab, we got to have a tool. All right? You ain't no real barber if you ain't got your gloves. You, you, you can tell if somebody a real barber by their tools. You can tell if they're a jack leg barber by their tools. So if you're going to do this thing right, you got to have tools. Can you imagine a mechanic that ain't got no tools? He ain't no real mechanic. He's a jack leg. So we're not jack leg barbers. So we going into surgery because we were doctors before the other doctors. We are the real doctors. Uh, if, for y'all that don't know that, we are the original doctors. We just let them take over a little bit. Now, we still in the lab. When you cut the top of their head out, when it's going bald and you cut that out, you're going to take some clippers. I don't endorse any clippers. Y'all can use whatever clippers you want. Whatever's going to do the job, I mean, you're going to clean that off. Once you clean that off, all right, and you got it bald, and you want that bald, you got to clean it. I'll give you a tip. You can clean it with some alcohol, but you want to take it like somebody's getting a, a facial and really get all of the oil and everything up out of the scalp because 
if you get all the oil and everything up out of the scalp, tell me what that's going to do. Does anybody know? Tell us, Aaron, Adrian, Charlie, Cornelius, Corey, Daniel, DeCarla, Dreesky, uh, Free, uh, let's see, um, that's uh, Feezy, uh, Miller, uh, J, J. Lewis. Tell us what it's going to do. Okay, it'll make it stick. That's right, DeCarla. Uh, easy to hold on scalp, Michael. Okay, y'all know some stuff. Make it stick. Okay, Barbara's official. The unit will stick, Vanessa. All right, there we go. That's what's up. So we're going to keep it going. Let, let, let's, it will last longer. That's right, uh, Toya. So we'll keep it going. Now, one thing that y'all don't have, and I know y'all don't have it because ain't nobody else went to uh, one of them men's hair club and paid $4,500. If they did, it was probably a doctor, judge, attorney, or whoever. Ain't no barber out here that went to the men's club and paid $4,500 to get a unit. Why did I do that? Because I wanted to be a spy. I wanted to know what they was using, what they was doing, what medical grade stuff, what was keeping the unit from stinking so much when you worked out, when you sweated, what was keeping the unit on there. Also, um, when, when it's itching. See, y'all don't know nothing about when that hair is itching. See, when you wear a, a, a unit, a man weave unit, you, there's a lot of things that you can't do. With that man weave unit, you can't even touch that unit. Okay? You can't even comb that unit. You can't even brush that unit. If your head itches, and I always wondered how um, my nieces and them, because I wear units, I see my niece with a lace front, and she'd be going like this. Now, when I got one of the man weave units, they didn't put that, uh, they got something called an itch, sweat, and smell free solution. Now, the only people that have it, they got the no sweat, but no, that's just for sweating. They got an itch, sweat, and smell free solution at those men's hair clubs that you don't have access to. But guess what? They gave me a bottle to use. The girl that did my unit, she gave me a sample. All right? They had a black girl back there doing the black guy's units. The Caucasian was doing the Caucasian units. She cut it all right, but that unit stuck to my head. But one thing she did, tied out. She sprayed it on the scalp. Then itch, sweat, and smell free. Now, before then, when I had that unit, I used to take an ink pen. And when it got to itching, I'd go like that. Then, if it was itching a lot, i I'd be tapping it like the women with the lace front uh, wigs because when it's itching, you got to tap it. And if it's itching hard, you got to. So with the itch, sweat, and smell free, it cuts down on the itching. I know this because I wear units. Barbers out there, y'all don't know this. It, I mean, it's an itch that uh, will drive you crazy. I mean, when I was 17 years old and... Um, I know y'all don't want to hear this, but it was an itch like some ticks or something was, was on you and all in your head like lice or, or whatever. So um, I'm going to ask the questions in the end. But remember that. So the great thing about that, we will have that uh, at manweaveunit.com. We don't have any right now. Don't have any of the glue right now. They removed that they had. We don't have any of it. But we will have some more in about three weeks so y'all can check in about three weeks because i'm telling you if you don't use that on their head it's going to be itching and when they work out their unit is going to start lifting at the front and i don't know if any of y'all have experienced that if you're doing units you probably have uh experienced some of that so all will make the glue lift it's, yeah you're exactly right remove it so we're going to carry on i got a lot now a lot of y'all at this unit right here this was an Afro unit. I mean, it was like that. And people say, well, you can't use guards on the unit. You can't use clippers. On the man weave unit with the loose hairs where you lay the hair, you're exactly right. You cannot, I repeat, use guards on that unit. I repeat, you cannot touch that unit. 
You cannot scratch that unit. You cannot comb that unit. You cannot brush that unit. You cannot get that unit wet. Guys, you got to be like the gals. If it start running, you better cover it up because if it get wet, it's over. It's a wrap, all right? So y'all need to know that about the man with units. And when you're doing units for customers, educate, empower, and enlighten them and let them know what the units do, what it don't do, how to how to take care of it. Because the regular man weave unit, you got to babysit that thing. I mean, babysit it. When they do it, you, you got to put your wave cap on. I mean, every night when you go to bed, and guys, if you for you out there, when you get into bed with your old lady or old man, however you want to call it, you must put this wave cap on. If you do not put this wave cap on, and this is how you put a wave cap on, like this, bring it above the ears, bring it around. I like to tie mine in the back first, like that. Then you're going to bring it back around, OK? Like that. And then you're going to tie it in the back. I'm tying it in the back right here. Y'all guys, y'all know that. If you've been to prison or whatever, Y'all know about wearing the wave caps. Then you're gonna hold it like that and kind of pull it down in the back. You know, okay? So that's how we're gonna do that. Now, reason why you wanna do that is because you want your unit to last longer. People always say, well, how long is it gonna last? It's gonna last as long as they take care of it. If they go home and have some rough sex or, or working a tough job or, or whatever, that unit ain't gonna last as long as the guy that sits in an air conditioning room and takes care of it. When you take a shower, don't put no shower cap over this to keep this from getting wet. No, because the 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 steam will start lifting that unit. Okay, so you're gonna wear this wave cap. Wear that wave cap at night when you get in the bed or whatever to keep the unit intact and to make it last longer. So that's something you want to do. How do I know this? I wear units. I wear units. I've been wearing them. I've tested them. So is there if there's a barber out there that's saying, well, yeah, you can do this, you that. Ask that barber, do you wear units? Do you wear units? It's nothing like experience. See, once you experience something, can't nobody tell you nothing. I done tried every unit that there is. Do you wear a do-rag in the shower? Yes, you do wear a do-rag in the shower. And unless you um got one of them shower uh things where you can just you know not get your your every nothing wet but most men gonna get something wet but if you ain't gonna get nothing wet you ain't gotta wear a do-rag but i recommend you wear a do-rag and maybe uh if you're gonna wear a do-rag in the shower then this is what we're gonna do here uh we're gonna have to improvise if you're gonna wear a do-rag in the shower how you gonna keep this up well, I got a solution for that. I got a solution for that. Look at this. You get you some scotch tape. Uh, some scotch tape. Bam. Okay. That's how you can wear the do-rag in the shower. This part won't get wet. So now this is, we got to improvise. So put this on, all right? Now, all right, if you don't want, if you wear that do-rag in the shower, go on and take you some scotch tape and put it around. All right, now, if you think it's gonna come off, this is what you do. We can always, guess what? We done did the over technique, come back with the under technique. Now, you definitely, this is called the nun do-rag. You know how a nun has a nun cap on and that little thing that comes around? This is like the nun do-rag, all right? So now, no, you don't wanna put that shower cap on there, Courtney. Why would you not put the shower cap on? If you put the shower cap on, the steam is going to start lifting the unit up. Now, how do we get it off? We not, how are we going to cut this, y'all? We're not going to use our shears. No, no, no. Y'all tell me how we're going to get it off. We, we're not using the shears. I was recording it. Freeze it. Uh, Rashida, Cayenne Fox. Ain't no using that. So what we got to do, we got to get our tools. Where the tools at? Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? I got to get my scissors. My shears. So where are my tools at? Here they go. So now what we're gonna do here, this is what we're gonna do. All right. 
we're gonna hit them like this. Now these allowed to cut you out, so you gotta be careful. Bam, see that? Then we're gonna run this like this when we out the shower and take that off. You see? Now we're good. We Gucci. We can, but we can keep it pushing now. All right. Now this is what we're gonna do. We can take the do rag off, guys. If you're with y'all lady, you better put that do rag on if you're in the bed. Take the do rag off. Now we're gonna put it over here. We're gonna put it back up here right now, and we're gonna keep moving on. Now for you all that um want to know about uh, when you're doing the units. You also want to use uh, color. I don't endorse anything. Um, the diamond edge is good as far as the edge. It don't smear or whatever, but get you some color. Color that right there because you can use a 1B. 1B hair, that's black. 1B to match it up because if the hair is not matching up with this and you apply that man weave unit or non-surgical men's hair replacement, you're going to see the, the demarcation. And I don't care if you're the greatest barber in the world, People will see that and it ain't gonna be blended, okay? And you don't want that. You want it undetectable. When I say undetectable, in church, don't nobody wanna have a unit uh, like a bird's nest sitting up on their head like that. No, nobody want that. You want that unit to be undetectable because if not, look, people are gonna be looking at you. If it's undetected, if it's, look, they're gonna be looking. Everybody's looking at your unit. You in the post office. They're looking at the back of your head. You in church. They're looking at the back of your head. You don't want to be a distraction when you're in church and they can't concentrate on the pastor. No. If you're looking at T.D. Jakes at the potter's house, uh, they got to be able to concentrate. But if you're sitting up in there with a unit on like this, uh, if you're sitting up there with a unit on like this, how are you going to concentrate on the sermon? Ain't no way they can concentrate on the sermon. If your unit ain't right, you, look, y'all can buy them cheap units online if you want to. You can buy them if you want to. But I'm telling you, if you buy them cheap units online, a barber, all you got is your work. That's all we got is our work. And people are going to say, who did that? You don't want to send them out looking like Lil Richard. The hair is very important. You can get your hair, MiracleBarbieMD.com. I repeat, MiracleBarbieMD.com has some of the best hair. You can get that cheap hair if you want to. Even on the units, the man weave, I don't even recommend the synthetic hair. She got some real human hair that y'all can lay on there and it look like real hair, and it act like real hair. Now, I'm going to tell you all about the synthetic hair. The synthetic hair is cheaper. You can go to the chink chinks and all them and get hair, but that synthetic hair, it's going to frizz up. You put that unit on the dude, and I guarantee you a day later or whatever, uh, that unit is going to start frizzing up. It, it's going to start shedding. Guys, you remember when you dated one of them old tack head gals, uh, Sinead Nay, Shaquiqua, or whatever, and they had that old cheap weave in their head? and it got all in your bed, and it was shedding, and it was all on the floor, and in the bathroom and stuff. You don't want your units like that. So you got to have some good hair, okay? Because if not, the unit gonna be frizzing up. And if they ain't no barber, look, they can't be in the mirror like this every day, okay? I done tested all the units, and some of them units look good, but they weren't lasting every morning, I was in the bathroom doing this. Boom, boom, boom. Then I'm switching hands. Boom, boom, boom. Now, most of your customers ain't none of them barbers. So they cannot get in there and do this. They're going to be calling you. That's what they're going to be doing. They're going to be calling you. So it's very important that y'all get some good hair because if not, it's going to frizz up. And I'm telling y'all what I don't experience. So, uh, we're just going to keep it pushing. Now, we're talking about the popsicle stick. We're talking about the color. I told y'all how to get them lines. I talk, told y'all a little bit about the itch, sweat, and smell free. Y'all can get that in about three more weeks. Y'all want that glue that's going to be like super glue, gorilla glue. I will have that. I got it from one of those hair clubs. I Yes, I did. And um, I took it to a chemist. And guess what? He duplicated it. 
and I'm, I'm going to have it for y'all because they ain't sharing that with us. Now, the 1B, so 1B is the best color to get. I'm not saying 1B is the best color to get. If you want to have black, a nice black color, most Afro-American men is usually going to have a 1B, okay? So that's why I told y'all 1B because the average Afro-American man, you want a 1B. Now, that's not all the way across the board, but 1B usually. Now, let's keep going. What other tools we got back there? Oh, okay. Yeah, in the online class, you also learn how to measure it. And when measuring, uh, you learn how to do these modes. Okay? Cayenne Fox, Diamond Edge, you know, he got the Diamond Edge. He got the black. He got the brown. So that's good for y'all. So uh, y'all can look at that in the online class. Now, uh, we moving on. Oh, yeah. Y'all want to know about that wavy, the 360 wave unit that hair. Let me show y'all. Hold on. Here we go. I'm reaching in my stash. And you know how them barbers are. Barbers, they don't never want you to know what they're doing. They want to keep everything a secret and all that. Well, on the Man Weave online course, when y'all join the Man Weave online course after this webinar, I got a treat for y'all. Y'all gonna get it for half price. It's regular thousand dollars. July first, it's going up to a thousand dollars. Right now, you can get it for four ninety seven. Y'all can DM Man Weave Unit a Millionaire Barber afterwards, and I will send you all the link uh, for the discount code. Okay, but I'm not one of them barbers that uh sneak around. You know how them barbers they don't want you seeing what they doing and all that. No. I'm not one of those barbers, so this is what I'm doing right here. All right, boom, here we go. This hair right here. All right, this is a 360 wave hair. All right, this is it. All right, so there it is. Y'all can get that at miraclebarbermd.com. Now, We've talked a lot about that. I'm going to take my gloves off and we're going to talk about some theory on a serious note. All right. Y'all been entertained enough and y'all learned some stuff through the entertainment, but um, we are actually, I'm going to uh, take this off and we're going to get serious. All right. So y'all have learned some stuff and you've been entertained a little bit, but now what I'm getting ready to do now, and y'all on Instagram, y'all are probably going to miss this. Um, I think I'm going to turn y'all screen around so y'all can watch this since y'all were not able to join. So we're going to get really serious now and talk about um, some things that we need to do to uh, make money. So let's get serious. Okay, now here we go. Um, if they want salt and pepper hair, yeah, she, has, she can get any color hair. Uh, I will answer questions at the end, but we're gonna get serious now. Um, when I went and got that unit, I went with the intent to learn because I don't mind pulling out my wallet and my credit card to learn something. And um, I noticed that the men's hair clubs, a lot of those, Rollo, my man from out of Cleveland, uh, big shout out, that they were making a lot of money, a ton of money. And the Afro-Americans weren't making any money. So I wanted to know exactly what they were doing. I wanted to know the entire process and the only way that I was going to learn that was to pull out my wallet and my credit card and pay. So what I did, and I'll take y'all, I'm gonna take y'all through, basically, I got probably what, uh, 15 minutes left or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna take y'all through the entire process. So we're gonna get serious now, because I really want you all to get this and learn and see what they're doing. And I'll be able to help you all along the way uh, on this. Now, if you want to do the units, learn the low unit, the high, you know, all that stuff, the ponytail unit, y'all can take the online class, okay? 
you, you can take the online class, you get lifetime access, but we're going to talk about business because the barber, the best barber in the world, uh, the best cutter is not the one that's going to make the most money. It's sad to say, but he's not going to make the most money. Uh, the best barber in the world, the best hairstylist. The one that's going to make the most money is the best marketer. Okay. You may be the best cutter in the world, but if you don't know marketing and you don't know how to utilize Instagram and Facebook, then you're going to be left behind. Uh, I didn't cut any hair. I don't cut hair. Um, but because of marketing and utilizing Instagram, Facebook, and all of that, you can do things that uh, the Florida the barber, you know, all of those people couldn't do. So now if you utilize the internet properly, social media, Instagram, you can use that as an advantage. So now this is what we can ready to do. You know how we started with the VHS tape. I remember at Bonner Brothers 1998, I was selling VHS tapes. And uh, I'll show y'all, I'm going to share some stuff with y'all. I'll share actually my screen. And what I'm going to do is share this screen with y'all so y'all can actually see this. Because I really want y'all to get this now. Um, we really get into the part where people may leave because um, they're not being entertained. But I usually entertain just to get people going. But you didn't come here for entertainment. You came here to learn and you want to move to the next level. Uh, you got kids that you want in better schools. You may have an elderly parent, like my mom, somebody that's getting old and they uh, have to move in with you. Uh, somebody whose parent had worked like from sunup to sundown and it's time for them to retire. So we have to make some money. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna uh, do a quick slideshow uh, with you all. And uh, I'm gonna share this screen. So share the screen. And I wanna make sure that uh, you all can see the screen. So let me know if you all can see the screen. Can y'all see the screen uh, in the chat box? Okay, let me see. All right, yes, so y'all can see the screen. Okay, now I know y'all can't fade, Doc. So what I'm going to do is uh, hopefully y'all will be able to see a little bit of this. Um, let me know if you can see the screen, Jay. So if y'all look on here, yeah, everybody's doing a low unit, high top unit, wave unit. That's good, but I got something better for y'all. Um, I ain't talking about this earning disclaimer where I advertised on Barbershop Connect. Uh, he had a million followers, okay? Yes, Lee had a million followers on Barbershop Connect, and I will share this with y'all. I did advertise on Barbershop Connect um, back in January. And I did a lot of funny videos with the units and crazy videos. And one particular day, 184 people bought the Man Weave unit um, at $597. You can do the math. But I'm not telling y'all this to uh, impress you. I'm just letting you know to impress upon you because we have a lot of gifted, talented barbers um, out there but your work you have not took it upon yourself to record it you have not took it upon yourself to reach out and build an automated system an online university there are a lot of barbers out there that are not that good if i was in the shop cutting i would definitely buy pull out my credit card out of my wallet and i would buy y'all's work if you recorded it and you had an online university or something I would definitely, there are some barbers and stylists, they want information. So that's something that I encourage all of y'all to do. And you all can DM me. I mean, we'll keep going. I'm going to share some slides with y'all because I want you to open your mind up um, in this. I mean, whether you're a barber, stylist, or whatever, um, the marketing is very important. For y'all to stay to the end, I got something for y'all. That book right there, um, I'm going to do a class for y'all. I know we're in a man weave unit class, 
but I was going to do a class for you all probably it may be Thursday if I don't do it Thursday next week I'm gonna do a free class for you all where uh, I'm gonna share uh, how I made over $25,000 in one month selling books that book that you all see and, and I'll pull it up right here um, the millionaire barber stylist a lot of y'all have purchased that book but since we all here talking about business I want to share some personal stuff with y'all that book was only three dollars to print okay three dollars to print this book and I'm gonna share how I wrote the book how I got it the, the cover how I got it self-published there's three dollars to print I'll sell it for 25 24.99 free shipping now one thing about that if you get it you can start off with 100 books they give you 25 free so for less than 500 dollars y'all you could be your own author uh turn the phone sideways please if i turn it sideways i don't know if y'all gonna be able to see it so what i'm gonna do um i'll turn it sideways but y'all gonna have to let me know uh how it looks sideways so this is what i'm gonna do turn it sideways for the people now can y'all see that better since it's turned sideways for the instagram people so back to the book some of y'all want to write a book basically you write a book one time whether it's about your life i wrote the one to being there ex-convict and this book three dollars a print you sell it online advertise on barbershop connect advertise with some instagram influencers i mean and they go online they purchase it the money goes in your bank account sends them a username and password so I'm going to share a full webinar for free on actually how I did everything. You sell a thousand books in one month. Okay. That's a thousand books is 250 books in a week. That's not a lot. If it's marketed to barbers and stylists, if you get some Instagram influencers. So I wanted to share that with y'all, but we, we're going to move right along because we're talking about the man we viewing. So a lot of stuff I'm going to skip over for y'all that don't know me. I went to barber school in 1990 and got licensed. 1998, I opened up a school. Had a school for 19 years. Had zero students. Everybody laughed at me, said it couldn't be done, and all that stuff. This was in 1998. 2001, I got accredited with receiving government money. That I did that for years and years. Tuition went up to like some of the, the chain schools. It was 19,500. Uh, people started asking me, how do you become accredited? How do you get the government funding? How do you do this? How do you do that? Well, I opened up a, a online class, how to open a proper barber styling school, but we're gonna carry on. That was me. For y'all that don't know, yes, I have been cutting. Y'all see that screen, but I didn't wanna be a barber. Um, I definitely didn't wanna be cutting behind a chair all the time. And with the automated business system that I'm gonna share with y'all and some of the classes that I'll be teaching every week, I'm gonna be sharing some uh, ways for y'all to move beyond the chair, uh, to maximize your income, monetize income, how you can monetize and maximize Instagram. This was me. Now, that was back in 1998 at Barner Brothers. I was the only barber at Barner Brothers selling the clipper cutting tape. I made that clipper cutting tape, the lighting was not good, any of that. I got 500 tapes printed up, $3 a piece, $1,500 sold them all $20 a piece in one day to hairstylists. Barbers, we know that most hairstylists can't cut that good, okay? So we'll carry on. This is when I first opened the school. It was in 1998. Now, I want to share this with you all. If you want your income to change, you're going to have to change. Now, I wanted my income to change, so I had to change. You're looking at this screen, yes. I started wearing a shirt and tie. Did I suffer ridicule? Yes. Did people talk about me? Yes. Did other barbers talk about me? Yes. See, when you break out from the pack, you will suffer ridicule. When an eagle flies in the air, people shoot at eagles, but they feed pigeons. So if ain't nobody shooting at you or talking about you, you're not doing nothing. So if you want your income to change and you're in a shop, change your attire, change your attitude. I guarantee you, if you change your attire, your customers are gonna tip you more, okay? They're gonna respect you more. 
I don't care if that barber or stylist is beside you, uh, cutting and talking about you. You're going to have to do things different. If, if you want things to change, you're going to have to change. And this has a lot to do with man with units. Yes, it does. Find your mentor. If you want to go to the next level with these units or anywhere in your life, you got to find a mentor. That's my mentor, Ms. Belma DeMarmory. She's been in this business over 50 years, okay? She ran schools. They were doing over a million dollars a month. She's graduated thousands of people. We became business partners. That's my mentor. Sometimes you got to cut man man and bobo off because a lot of them don't want nothing and i'm gonna tell y'all something i'm gonna give you a little secret a little tip here for y'all that's on here listening jamela joe lewis j lewis kimberly uh cover michael uh msbs because i'll i mean i'm gonna share something with y'all if you're the smartest person in your circle you're in the wrong circle if you're the richest person in your circle, you're in the wrong circle. You need to be the brokest and dumbest person in your circle of friends. Get around people that have what you want and that are where you want to be, okay? The people that don't want nothing, get away from them. If you work next to one of them, be like a horse and have tunnel vision. So we're gonna keep this party going. A lot of stuff I'm gonna skip over. A lot of y'all asked about that. Yes, I did get a product uh, contract, 50-50, uh, and it will be out in three weeks. The product that they're uh, going to use is that product that I had that chemist. They're going to fund it and everything, okay? And they're going to mass produce it, mass market it, just from this one Instagram post that I did. That was a funny video that I, I did that on purpose because I know on Instagram, if you do stuff very serious on Instagram, don't nobody really pay attention. We're on this class right now talking about information, okay? I'm me and Barbara, I'm on this page doing a class. Now, I guarantee you if it was a cut or thon uh, or some barber battle, and I'm not knocking barber battles, barbers would pay to travel thousands of miles. They'll pay to get in that barber battle to win a $20 uh, plastic trophy. Now, think about that. You travel thousands of miles, hotel, gas, food, pay to compete to, to win a $20 plastic trophy. And then, if you don't win, you get upset and you're ready to fight. I've been to the bar battles, been there and done that, and got the T-shirt. Okay, it's time to educate ourselves. So we're gonna carry on. So that's why I did the funny videos or stupid videos or whatever, because I knew it was gonna gain attention. When I did that, yes, I got a product uh, line out of it. That'll be out in three weeks and they will be using this stuff, the itch, sweat and smell spray from that men's hair club, the adhesive from them, and they will be using their remover. Okay, now the other thing I do the man with you in online class just from that, the silly videos. Yeah, okay, what happened? Um, made a lot of sales. All right, that, that's that just shows you the mentality, but we're gonna carry on because we, we don't have much longer. But I want to get into some other stuff on this man with unit page. Make sure you all speak to people's problem and pain, all right? I'm gonna put this Instagram back on. So um, y'all wanna speak to potential clients' problems and pain. Why? Because a lot of y'all on Instagram and you talking about yourself. Now, when you get on Instagram and talk about yourself, nobody cares about that. Imagine you have a toothache. If you have a toothache, you don't want a dentist talking about himself. You want him to speak to your problem and pain. Is your tooth keeping you up late at night? Do you have a headache? Is your jaw swollen? Does cold liquid uh, hurt your mouth? I solved that, click the link. So speak to people's problem and pain in your Instagram. Now what I'm gonna do now, cause we don't have much time. I'm not gonna go through this whole 
presentation. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, jump off of Instagram and I'm going to have to, for, for y'all that didn't get to join, I'm going to have a replay on this. So I'm going to use this phone. So what I'm going to do is cut them off and end this. And I'm going to connect this phone to the computer so you all can actually see um, what I learned from that $4,500 haircut and what's going to actually take your business actually to the next level. So I'm going to share this with them for the people that's on Instagram and they can watch this screen uh, as we, okay, they'll watch that screen right there. So I got that point there. So what I'm going to do now, I want y'all to look very closely because this is one going to be one of the most important things. But I'm going to save that for 10 minutes to the end uh, for you all to see. Um, let's see. This is what we're going to do. So first, I am going to um, I'm gonna share this screen. But uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out of there. All right. So I'm going to get out of here. And we are going to go to another screen. And this screen right here, I want to share this with y'all. I really want y'all to see this. Share screen. OK, I know y'all can see that screen. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out of this. Um, stop share. I'm going down here. And I'm going to get out of the PowerPoint. OK? And I'm going to stop this PowerPoint because I want y'all to see this on the screen. Um, OK. Now, I need to make sure that uh, you all see the screen, screen share. Let me know if y'all can see the screen. Tell me if y'all can see the screen. Um, and then I carry on. So let me know. Uh, can y'all see the screen? Uh, let's see. Yes. Okay. Courtney said yes. Peace and love. Danielle. Yes. Okay. So now this is what we're going to do. Since y'all can see the screen, um, one thing that I got uh, learned, the Man Weave Unit Blueprint is a business plan. Uh, it's about 29 pages long, and it's in a Word document, copy, cut, and paste, okay? So you can download that. Then moving on, um, about uh, one person, a barber that was doing a 1000 a day. I actually show how they use Facebook ads, $5 a day, and they target men in certain areas, and the ad pops up in front of them, and they click on the link for a free consultation. They fill out the form. And I'm going to show y'all how that works. Um, next, the, uh, the, the manual, then the insurance. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to actually show y'all this uh, manual that's very important. Uh, I'm going to pull it up. I got it saved on my computer. Uh, for y'all that are already members, I know y'all have already seen that. Uh, but people that are not members, they have not seen this. And y'all really need to see this because uh, it's in the online class. And even if you've taken a live class, that's good. But in the live classes, you don't have access to this. So uh, client consultation form. These client consultation forms are forms that I got from one of those men's hair clubs when I got that $4,500 unit. So this is very important. The reason why, if a customer comes in your shop, salon, your office, your laboratory, and they want a unit, you need to give them a clipboard with these three or four documents. Just by you giving them this clipboard, that's going to raise your level of expertise and the way that they view you. It's all about presentation. It, I mean, you can have a, a steak on a paper plate and a steak on chinaware. That steak on the paper plate is going to be cheaper than the steak on the, uh, the, the chinaware. Same steak, just different presentation. So you must have these client consultation forms, and they're going to protect you because you're putting this adhesive 
and, and this medical grade stuff, you don't know how people's skin is going to react. So that's going they're going to sign that form too uh, to protect you. You know, when you're getting a surgery or a dentist or whatever, they make you sign these papers. There's agreements in here. Um, and I'll just kind of scroll through this so you all can see. I'm, I'm going to make it big. All right. So I've enlarged it just so you all can see. And I'm going to go through here because this is one of the most important sections uh, that y'all are going to see. A lot of people are not going to talk about the business. Everybody has a license, your business license, LLC. Why would you be incorporated? If somebody falls or whatever, if you incorporate, they're going to sue the corporation. They can't sue you. They protect your home and all that stuff. All right, so we're going tax ID, client consultation. Okay, consultation guide. I mean, this has everything. When consulting and selling to your clients, the following are some things that you should take into consideration. Age, children, style and abilities, texture required, salon maintenance, base color, what type of hair loss, attachments, marital status, all this stuff. Now look at this, client's personal options, the daily wear, semi-wear, you know, the fibers and all that, uh, extended wear, the bonding, comfort factor. I mean, this stuff gets really deep. The client profile, you need to fill out all this on your client. The head measurements, if you're going to order a custom for them, uh, details regarding the client's lifestyle. I mean, if he work out and he's a mechanic and all that, his units are not going to last as long as that guy that doesn't do that. Did you consult with a doctor about your hair loss? Have you done anything previously about your hair loss? You need to know all of these things about the client before you even do a unit. Before you even do a unit, all this stuff, are you allergic to anything? And they need to be filling this out, agreements. Now, you, you got to have some type of contract before you do this. Client consultation agreement. We have barbers and stylists literally all over the world, from Russia to China, to everywhere that have taken an online class. One of the most important things that they like, the business forms. And these are in a Word document, so you can copy, cut, and paste, download them. We're talking about business here, okay? Contract is already done. You fill in the blank. It's already done for you to protect you. Already done for you. We're moving on. Resale units. Client release authorization form. I mean, this so disclosure agreement. Purchase agreement for reconditioned replacement hair. I mean, it gets really deep. It, this non-surgical men's hair replacement, this is nothing to play with. I mean, this is like a lab. We're we doing surgery. So y'all got to take this stuff serious. Look at that custom cranial hair prosthesis. Now we're getting into if you're doing insurance, you got to know the diagnostic code, the CPCS codes, and we have a, a it's a 69-page manual on insurance. So y'all taking these live classes and they telling y'all insurance options? No. This is the real deal. Them two or three pieces of paper that you're getting, and I'm not knocking them, not discrediting them or anything, but you must have this type of stuff. If you're going to be able to file insurance, an uh, employee identification number, if you're going to deal with these doctors, y'all going to have to have all this stuff. And this in itself, the $497 that y'all going to pay after this, this is worth way more than that. Did you get thousands of dollars worth of information? I don't know. Some of y'all don't realize um, uh, for y'all, okay, how do you get measured for a client that is not in your city? Like, what if someone is in Glinga, England? Because you're going to tell them and show them how to measure online. You'll be able to show them. When you take the online course, you show how to get the measurements. Show you exactly how to do those measurements. We're moving on. Prosthesis, sale, and repair, or invoice. If you're going to deal with men that's been in the Army, that's had, uh, been shot and all it, y'all got to know all this stuff. We got all the forms in here. Hair manufacturer order. When you order from these real hair manufacturers, people that we share in the online class, you got to know a lot of this. Uh, order specification sheet. Left to right, right to left forward, the hair type. 
So it gets really deep on measuring. You got this. I mean, this is, this page, this right here, this document right here, just this is worth thousands of dollars. If the work is already done for you. I don't know anywhere else where you're going to get this at this price. If you don't get this, I mean, you're literally not serious in this. Now, another thing, when doing this, as a business owner, look at this, the following list of common human needs for consideration when dealing with clients. The need to feel welcome, the need for a timely service, the need to feel comfortable. I don't have to go through all this. Now, it is important for you to know what the customer wants. Look at this, what they need, what customers think, what they feel. Men that suffer from permanent hair loss, it's a very touchy, um, very touchy for them. I mean, very touchy. I mean, they take this stuff serious. I mean, you see the men that have their faces covered up. They don't want anybody to see them. I mean, they take this very serious. I mean, we've literally had men to cry in the chair. Things to remember. I mean, we're sharing a lot of information with you. This is just the business portion right here. So I can go on and on on the business portion and get out of this. And um, I'm not gonna even go to the insurance documents. I'm on, uh, it's 9, 11 now. I've been going an hour and 11 minutes. I'm gonna take the last five minutes and I'm gonna share my cell phone and I'm gonna show y'all exactly how uh, this automated business system works. Anybody that's on Instagram, if you have an Instagram account, if you're doing non-surgical hair replacement, I don't care if you're doing any type of service, you need this right here. And I'm gonna share this phone with y'all so y'all can actually see. And for y'all that wanna join the class, you can click the link, uh, the, Code is already there. You can DM me for the discount code or whatever, but I got to show y'all this. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is share my cell phone with y'all. And the reason why I'm sharing my cell phone with y'all is because when people go on Instagram um, or online, they're on their cell phones. Okay. They are on their cell phones. So that's why I'm going online with my cell phone because um, that's what people are on uh, when they're looking at your page. They're not on a computer. Even when they go to your website, nine times out of 10, they're not on a computer, they're on a smartphone. And they say the average person looks at a smartphone about four hours per day. So now I'm gonna share this phone. Let me know if y'all can see the screen. Tell me yes, if y'all can see the screen. Okay, y'all see my phone. So now what we're gonna do, we're going on Instagram and uh, I share that now. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I go on Oak Master Barber's page. I set up an automated business system for him and um, he's making thousands of dollars. First thing we did, if you look at it, he has a nice logo, an easy Instagram name. Look how we set up the uh, emojis on his page. The emojis are set up perfect. Uh, look, number one men's hair replacement specialist, UK, Paris, Dubai, people fly all over the world. Ultimate handcrafted units, one-on-one -on -one trainers, over 20 years experience. Now, yeah, he does great work. All of y'all barbers do good work, okay? But I'm gonna move on past that because y'all all do good work. Let's talk about where you are killing yourself where you are um, not, where you're losing customers and all that. So we're gonna click his link. Let's click that link and look what happens. Click the link and the link is opening up. So imagine someone's on your page and they click a link. Now, your picture's there, your headline. This is how the gurus do it. Video, okay? If you have a YouTube video, we can embed that. Scroll below. Register here for a look and learn class. How many of you barbers out there and stylists are doing look and learn classes? You can if you put it out there. So we created this link. 
We even created his own online university. Free consultation. Let's click the free consultation and uh, we're going to actually see what happens. Look, they scroll down, they fill out a form. Which best describes you? What type of service would you like? What type of unit, style? Then they can upload their image here. They just click that and upload it. Do you sweat, work out a lot? They put their name information. What's their budget? And then they hit submit. From that, what happens next, it goes to his email on his cell phone and then he can call them back. That's a free lead. Now, this is how he got international clients. We just clicked on that. Look at this guy. He's from uh, over in London, an African dude. And I put the video up there. He got thousands of dollars from this guy. International client. Click that, okay? Where it has international clients. Scroll down. What type of unit would you like? He fills that out. Have you worn units previously? Uh, if you did, what did you like about it? Upload a picture of yourself so, so we'll know how you, your hair is. Tell us about your lifestyle. Do you work out a lot or whatever? Will you need a driver when you're flying in? Will you need a hotel? Look at this. What's your favorite beverage? Why do you think he uh, asked what's your favorite beverage? I mean, Shantaria, Vanessa, Vince, Wood, the barber. Why would he ask that question? Charles Harris, Charlie Blackwell, Daniel, uh, DeCarlo. Why would he ask that question? Nate, the barber, peace and love, Rashida. I mean, he asked that question because guess what? He gonna provide that, build a relationship. That's right, Courtney Harris, accommodate the appointment, Shantara, build a relationship. Y'all got some great answers, make the customers feel comfortable. Cater to those clients, Charlie, that's right. That is exactly right. Now the question is, how many of y'all have this simple system? It costs, it's less than a cup of coffee per day. Do you realize um, what that does? I mean, just by that, I mean, oh, Courtney already does that in her salon, so she'll step ahead. Favorite snack, if peanut M&M's. What is Oak gonna have for him? Some peanut M&M's. Favorite food, well, I like uh, pizza. He may have some pizza for him. Favorite hobby, professional team. Why would he ask him that professional team? This dude is flying way over from London to UK. He got people flying from Paris, Nigeria, everywhere. Why would he ask them his favorite team? Anybody know? Why would he ask them that? If their favorite team is the Pittsburgh Steelers, why would he ask them that? Conversation starter, yeah. Okay, but guess what he does? Make a custom note that you're for the team to make. All right. Y'all got some great answers. Yes, y'all answering really well. He gets a hat for him. Pittsburgh Steelers hat or a little t-shirt, Miami Dolphins t-shirt. Do you realize what that does to that customer that has flown across the water, across seas? That's right, uh, Dresky. that's right. Get information about the team, conversation started. He buys a souvenir and gives that to them. That 10 or $20, they pay him three or four, $5,000. So client appreciation, make them feel special. It's exactly right, Courtney. All of y'all got great answers, that's right. Then they fill out the form, their budget, his submit, it goes to him. And what do y'all think that he does? Calls them back. He gonna gain both clients. Do you realize if somebody fly across seas or even just somebody in the United States, cause he got them coming from everywhere. That little gesture, he's only spent probably 10, 20, $30. They're paying them thousands of dollars. When they go back, how they gonna brag on him and talk about him and they don't fill out all the forms and stuff. That is a customer for life. See, it's more than just you standing behind um, a chair doing this. It's more to that. And I want to share this business with y'all. Now, a lot of y'all want this system. These systems cost like thousands of dollars. You can go to automationclinic.com and see what at thousands of dollars, but as a group, this is what I'm doing. You can click on the link in my bio at Man Weave Unit or me and that barber, and you pay $197 for me to set this up for you. 
and only $97 per month. You may want changes or whatever. You cannot beat that, okay? $197 for the setup fee and $97 a month, less than a cup of coffee to have this. Now, we're not even finished. Well, we're not finished. Look at this. Click here for U.S. clients. Look at that. Okay. Scroll down. We're going to put your picture there. That, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do, Courtney. Jamila, DeCarla, Miss Trey, uh, Wood, the barber, Rashida Booker, uh, Dresky, Feezy, Daniel, uh, Charlie Blackwell, Charles, Rashida. Uh, that's what we're going to do, Colbert. That's Michael, Peace and uh, Love. Shantae, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put your picture here. They scrolling down. Are you a male or female? What city are you flying from? What type of unit you want? And now, we don't have to just use this for units. No, we can use it for anything. I can go to um, some more people. Let's see. I go to my page. Now, let, let's go to, uh, yeah, I go to my page. Uh, Man Weave Unit right here. Now, when they click that link, look what happens. Everything is automated. When y'all click right here, this is where y'all gonna get that automated business system. Juggling too much, it's time out, okay? 197 setup fee, $97 a month. You click the link, and then you're gonna get an email, and you're going and it's gonna have where you fill this form out. Based on how you fill the form out, uploading the pictures and everything, all your pages will be created. So I'm gonna come back here. Uh, online digital course. If you click here and y'all wanna join the uh, Man Weave Unit online, go here, scroll down, you get your discount. Uh, you put the name that you want on your certificate, scroll down, and then you pay your $4.97 and you get lifetime access. We'll click on this link again. Now when they click this link, this automated business system, they're on Instagram or Facebook and they click this link. This is what happens. It doesn't take them to this website. Websites twist people up. When you walk in McDonald's, a restaurant or wherever, this is your menu. You want to see what you want. You ain't got time to be looking everywhere and doing all that. You only got about five seconds to catch people's attention. Boom, they click your link from Instagram. We scrolling down. You want Man With Unit Products? Uh, yeah, so we're going to click Man With Unit Products. It's going to take them to our web page, but it's going to take them to the page on the website where the Man With Unit Products are because people don't have time to try to find stuff. You see how we did that? Now, let's go back. Go back here. Free client consultation. Each and every one of y'all need to have a free client consultation. I don't care. Even mechanics have it, a free checklist, a free checkout on your car. When you do that free client consultation, let's click that. All you're doing is asking them questions. And y'all will have a form like this that y'all will be able to fill out with the questions because we're going to put the questions in, the ones that you put in. And hit submit. So this is that automated business system. Some of y'all on YouTube, if you're on YouTube, they need to be able to click here. Boom, click here, and it needs to take them straight to your YouTube page for your subscribers. Look at that. It's automated. You got to get with the program. You're talking about a $5,000 system. Go to automationclinic.com. They charge $2,500 for a two-hour consultation. Their day rate to set up automated business systems is anywhere from $13,000 to $25,000. Now go to automationclinic.com and you will see that. So I want to share that with you all so you know the value that you get. And if you're on Instagram with one of these, you separate yourself. You got to stop losing customers. We can embed your link uh, to book you for an appointment. A lot of people just got a link to book them for an appointment on that. No, that needs to be embedded in here. Look, promote and advertise on the page. We can create this for you. Look at that. They fill this form out. Look, they upload the picture right there. They put uh, the wording in, their caption. 
they pay the twenty dollars for the Instagram post. That's all I charge. Uh, Instagram Live, a hundred dollars. You see that, and then they pay. Money goes in your bank account. If you have a PayPal account, we will embed that button on here, and the money will go right in your account. This cell phone and your Instagram account is a business, okay? So I wanted to share this with y'all. So now I've shared a lot with y'all and I'm gonna stop this share. And if y'all have questions, now I'm gonna answer uh, questions. I'm gonna take the last 10 minutes and just answer questions. So if y'all have questions, I know y'all learned a lot. Uh, Rashida, uh, let's see. Who has some questions? Um, answer by text. Okay. Uh, all right. We got a question. Um, what if the hair on the unit comes about six inches? Now you can use a razor. And I didn't share, go over there with y'all about razor cutting. Uh, you definitely want to use a razor on those cuts. Let's see. Um, I know y'all have, there's a lot of questions. Okay, uh, Jabelli, yes. Um, you got to unmute yourself. I'm going to unmute you. All right. Jamela, uh, you unmuted. What question did you have? Did you yeah, have I want to know what's going on, Chen. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Good, good. That's good, bro. You're very helpful, bro. I remember I bought a uh, CD round for you from a uh, from Bonner Brother Hair Show years ago. Yeah, but I want to know if they come in uh, gray too. The man, you the gray on the pernos, you can't get those custom orders. Okay. Like a, an older gentleman, gentleman. Right. Yes, and when y'all go, you all can go to Miracle Barbie MD's page. Uh, she has a lot of the units, and make sure y'all DM her and email her because a lot of the units on there she does not have pictures of, but she can get them, and her uh, hair is top quality. I mean, I use a lot of her stuff. I mean, yes. her hair is really good, um, and she guarantees her stuff. Definitely. Yeah, All I'm right. definitely going to take her online court, man. I appreciate you. Blessings to you. Okay. Um, let me see. And I want to share, I'm going to go, since uh, he talked about the online, let me uh, share something with uh, him. Um, I want to show y'all something that I didn't show y'all real quick. Um, and then I'm going to go back to answering questions. Can y'all see my screen? I want to know if y'all can see my screen. Uh, Charlie, uh, Covert, can y'all, okay, y'all can see the screen. Now watch this. This is in the online class, all right? This is a 100% uh, human hair. You see this on the right. That's what you learn in here, okay? Now, after the introduction, it talks about the products needed. Then he has a ponytail on top, a ponytail, all right? Now, uh, Miracle Barbie MD back here again. We're going to do a man weave unit today and it's gonna be curly hair as you can see. So I am getting ready to do a preset. And what I mean by that is, I like to preset the curls, lock the curls in, somewhat lock the style in for the customer when they come in. So when I get to the customer and I'm getting ready to do the install, some of the work is cut out. And you can kind of see where you're going with your unit before you get there. So again, I'm going to do a preset. You can go to my website, miraclebarbymd.com and order, or you can do a phone order and call me, 1-877-993-2838. And you can check out my work on Instagram. Um, okay. That was, that's one module, all right? Now, that's lesson one. Uh, now, lesson two, as we move along, is uh, 
prepping them. Because I want to. Back in um, again, see? Miracle Barbie MD. I just um, preset this unit. I used a brush. Okay. And I took and brushed the waves in. And when the waves pop in, you just. So we're going to carry on to the next one because I want y'all to see now lesson three how to lock the waves and curl in. Let me see, I'm going to put this button. Okay. The unit now has been preset. I like to lock in the waves again, like I told you, but now we're going to put the unit underneath the dryer just so it will lock in these waves under a medium. Okay. Now, the next one, how to remove uh, the, the unit. Now, let me know, it, are, are y'all learning something? Can y'all see this? Make it a little bigger. Okay, yes. Uh, give me some yeses if y'all can see this. Uh, Ruben, Freezy, the Carla, Wood, the Barber. Uh, give, let me know yes. Okay, Jamelia, uh, Charlie, Peace and Love, uh, Shantaria, Michael, Rashida, all right, uh, Feezy. All right, got a lot of yeses, so y'all can see this. I'm going to make it bigger for y'all. Do y'all want me to make it bigger? Uh, tell me yes. If y'all want it bigger, I'll make the screen bigger. The Carla, do y'all want it bigger? Yes, y'all can see it. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to make the screen bigger. Um, we're going to make it bigger for you, Ruben, the gift, uh, Rashida. So here we go. Y'all want to know how to remove the unit? Here we go. Hi, Miracle Barbie MD back again. We are now taking off a man weave, okay? So I sprayed the solvent all the way around here. He's been soaking for about maybe 10, 15 minutes, which is a good way to um, take it off. That way you won't pull the client's scalp. So this has been already. Now, do y'all want her to see, do y'all want me to keep playing it so y'all can see her take it off? Uh, Ryan, Ruben, Rashida, do y'all want me to go back to playing it and y'all want to see uh, her take this off? Okay, Jamila said yes, Michael Crab, yes. All right, so uh, Colbert, the caller, please. All right, peace and bye. Okay, Wood the Barber said yes, so y'all think Wood the Barber. I'm going to continue playing it. Are you setting for 10 minutes, and now we're going to start taking it off. Um, now, Tim, you were supposed to have his face covered. Now, he didn't care about having his face covered. Hold on, let me, uh, I know y'all want to see this. Uh, going slow. I know what I'm going to do. Y'all want to see this, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back. Uh, we're going to let this catch up, and then I'm going to make it back big, because I know y'all really want to see her take this off. So I'm gonna go out of here and we're coming back in and I'm gonna show y'all. So let me speed it up. You, you were supposed to have a face covered. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. And I've already taken off the back. As you can see, but this was all that glue that has to be used when you do the man uh, weave. He's no longer going to have to ever go through this again. So stay tuned and look for his new look coming with a man weave unit, a human hair man weave unit. I'm now getting ready to color his hair, so I'm going to start that process next. Okay, how'd y'all like that? Now, We'll keep going. Uh, let's see. Sneak peek at the client. Uh, look at this. Y'all ready to take this online class? Look at his head. This is a $1,500 unit. Y'all see that? Y'all ready to take this online class? Yes. This is the type of stuff y'all going to be getting. Every month, we're going to be uploading more units. Now, I'm telling you, July 1st, it's going up to $1,000. So y'all will never get this at that price again. Let's carry on. Do y'all want to see more? Let me know if y'all want to see lesson six. Y'all want to see more lessons? Let me know. If y'all want me to end now, I will. 
But if y'all want me to show more, because I know it's late. Uh, I've gone past. It's 9.34. Do y'all want me to cut it off now or keep going? Okay, Charlie said, yeah. Colbert, Ruben the gift, more and more. All right, I'm going to give y'all more. Uh, okay, keep going. All right, I'll keep going. So let me go back uh, here. Uh, the caller said yes. Jamela, yes. So let's go on. Um, I'll show y'all some more. Mm, okay, she colored the hair. And I told y'all that when coloring the hair, you want to make sure that it matches up. Hi, Miracle Barber with MD. Hair. We're back again. We're getting ready to do some color, do a color job because he's got some gray. So I want to fill all that in um, before we start doing his man weave unit to make every, blend, everything blend well. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the color in. Um, you can see that the glue was there, but um, it's okay because once I get done with the color, that glue and all that stuff will wash right on the way. Okay. Now we got Miracle Barbie MD. I'm going to send, um, Melissa, hold on, she's trying to get on, so, let me see. And don't worry about it overlapping the main lead unit that was in. Because once you wash it, all that glue and all oh, okay. that will go away. We got miracle but if there was no glue there, you could just go ahead and color anyway. Yeah. Melissa, are you? Can you click that link to go live on the uh, the um? I can see you guys. You can see it, so they can see you. So what I want, I'm gonna turn this screen around so they can see you, and I want you to tell them about the hair. Okay. okay about the, uh, about the Okay. I don't know if that. All right. You want me to go grab them or you want me to just call? No, you can grab them because I'm all. They still want to see some more stuff, so they they're not gonna leave. Okay. Well, let me go grab them right quick. All right. You want me to go grab them or you want me to just talk? Um. Yeah, she's doing this unit. She's doing a um a ponytail. Okay, I'm gonna share some more of that with y'all. Uh, do y'all want to see some more? Let me know. Um, y'all want to see more more of it because there's more lessons out. Oh, all right, Vanessa. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna share the screen with you all uh, so y'all can see more. We're going to the next lesson. All right, y'all still want to see more? All right, so we're gonna go to the next lesson. Uh, we're in the back portal of the Man Weave Unit online class. You get lifetime access. Uh, it is half price. 497 it will go up to a thousand so let's go back uh let's see how to color how to shampoo and remove adhesive from the scalp y'all want to see that yes okay okay we are finished with our color and now we are going to rinse the client actually shampoo the client um I only colored the hair that we were going to leave. Everything else is going to be shaved off. You really don't have to worry about coloring that.
Now keep in mind, this client had a man weave on and he's got a lot of glue in his scalp. So now I'm going to have to take a comb and gently get this glue out of his scalp. I don't know if y'all can see this. Okay, we got Miracle Barbie MD back in. All right, I'm gonna show y'all more. Do y'all wanna see more? Let me know if y'all wanna see more of Miracle Barbie MD. She has some of the best hair on the market. That hair is like, uh, is 100% human. They want to see more. Uh, so now what I'm going to share with y'all, um, we got Miracle Barbie MD on. Uh, make sure y'all go to her page if y'all want some of the best hair. Are you on? Okay, I'm gonna share the screen so you can talk with them for for a little while. Okay, no problem. Okay, I'm trying to get my phone in place so I can. All right, well, just take your hand. time because I'm gonna go. They want to see another uh, tutorial. Um, let's see. Okay, so you, I'm gonna share some stuff. Miracle Barbie MD back again with my fabulous man weed unit ponytail. Can you see that? So guys who, who want to rock a ponytail, and it's a full ponytail, which means you don't have to wear the one where it's pulled back and they let it hang. This one you can wear up in the air. You see that? Unbelievable. So guys, if you want a special order custom made unit, um, man weave unit, this is a special order. Um, I could do it in black, brown, I could even frost this into blonde. That would be hot. Um, so just keep in mind that the possibilities are endless. See that natural hairline? Okay. Awesome. Stay tuned. We'll be back for our install, and you'll see the finished product on our model. Okay. Now, uh, Miracle Barbie MD. I'm on. Okay, you on. So now the next thing you're going to install, can you tell them about your hair? So I'm going to turn you around and uh, you ready? Let me see. I wish you were live on here, but hopefully they'll be able to see you so you can talk for a little while. Okay. I'm going to talk for a while. Now, because we have a sellout of units at the class, right now I have in front of me two units. The Afro unit that comes in poly lace and poly and lace combo, and I have a straight unit. I can use a lace wig to show them what the curly hair looks like to show them the same representation. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Um, I wonder if, you know what? Yeah. Can you click, you know, can you go on my page and click that link to join? Okay, so go, go on your... Like that Zoom link. Can you click that Zoom link to join so they can see... Uh, Stop screen sharing for her. Okay. You know what? Go on your page live. Okay. Go on my page live? Yes. Do that. Okay. All right. Okay. She can go live. She can give y'all a free class. And um, I'm going to, hold on. Let me see. How does that work?
No, she can't go on her page live. This is what we're going to do. Um, no, she has to be on my page. So I'm going to have to call her back. Because I really want you all to see this. So I'm going to call her back. Um, because that's not going to work. And next time I'm going to have her on as a guest. Uh, so you all can see this. But I'm going to show you all some more on her course. So y'all just bear with me because y'all going to see a lot more. Um, y'all going to see a whole lot more. Mm. Y'all just bear with me because uh, I'm going to share a lot of stuff with y'all. Where is this? Okay. So now... We're going to get her back on. Okay, now I'm going to send you this link so you can get on this other page because I won't, they ain't going to be able to see you on that page. I thought they could, but they won't. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, send, I'm going to email you this link and I want you to click on it and see if you can get in live. Okay? okay. All right. So, uh, Bye. Okay, now y'all really see, y'all want to see how to measure it? There's a lovely MD back again. We already have his um, hairline in. So his hairline is going to be here. For those of you who do it this way, or you can take the fingers and four fingers should fit in there, right above the eyebrow, depending on how high. So he's just here, so we're going to do four. You see the four fits perfectly. This is his other two marks here, which means we're going to shave them out all the way around to here. So if you want to be accurate, you can just measure all the way across. Again, measure all the way across. And measure again all the way across. Okay, so I just sent her a link and um, she's going to get on here and share some more stuff. Let's see. Uh, so we're going to wait on Miracle Barbie uh, MD. We're back. And my guy is completely done. I want to just see how natural this looks. Now, for y'all that are members, y'all will see the other steps that lead up to this. For all of y'all that are members on the online course, when you join, you will see the other steps. So you see how she actually installs it, cuts it, and does everything. Look at this natural hairline. And his desired style was a high ponytail with a natural hairline. And we keep it with the brush wave 360 unit that was customized for him, which was made longer. Can you see it? How natural that is in there? Okay, you can check your email. I sent that link. Simply amazing. You can wear a high ponytail. Oh, you on, I'm talking about your email. So you on here? I don't and if he doesn't want to wear a ponytail, he can wear it down. I don't see your name he can wear it here. back. Are you on here? Off his face. Put some clamps in it right here and lock it that way. If you feel like. Raise hands. Or you can just do a low ponytail. Let me see. And work this way. Turn to the left for me. You can work that way. Yes, 
With what name? I just think it's really cute. Oh, there you go. Okay, I'll see you. All right. Okay, I'm going to promote you as a panelist. Anything you want to say on camera about your hair? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I know. It's just so nice. I don't know what Was it everything she dreamed of? More beyond me. I mean, your name is a miracle because I'm going to say it. Oh. I love it. I can't find one complaint. So you hear what he said, Miracle Barbie MD. We do sell these units um, on my website, 1877-993-2838. Um, this is a customized unit. It was a brush wig unit, and I actually customized it for him. Hello. Guys, if you're looking for the high ponytail, Hello. as you can see, if you're looking for the ponytail. All right. Uh, I'm going to promote you. Hello. We all have uh, Melissa, so hold on one second. Chan, I'm on. Yeah, I know. Everybody okay. hears you, so just hold on one second. Um, let's see. Okay. Almost. Meeting controls, because I want you to share. All right, they can hear you. Uh, it's a lot of noise. Hey, everybody. Hold on. All right. <laughs> um, Thanks for coming. So you can, I want to promote you where they can see you. Okay. Um, let's see. All right, you ready? Because I'm ready to do the video. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm on. I'm ready. For some reason. Um, your video, can you click that? <laughs> can you click the link so they can see you? Like on video? Okay, it says recording. Do I click, click that um that thing that says recording? No, you click that uh, video camera looking thing. Okay, there you go. I'm see. Okay, then it says you cannot start your video because the host has disabled it. So right, you have right. disabled it. It said the host. All right, all right. now go. Try now. Okay. Was... Yeah. Now we now now it's gonna go. Uh. I, I clicked it for you. You did? Okay, here we go. All right. Now now we now it should be going. All right. Um stop share. Okay. There we go. Now they can see you, I'm sure. Um great. Hold on, I want to make sure that they can see you. Can you all see Miracle Barbie MD? Can you all see her? Uh let me know if y'all can see her. I just got some going to client. Okay, yeah, they can see you. So good. They ready for this class. I'm glad. Great. Great. So I'm ready. All the questions in the world you can imagine, just ask me. I'm, I'm excited and I'm ready to, to show you and tell you everything about what I do. Um, they've already seen a lot of your work. They've been asking about the units. Um, and I told them you got the best units out there. I get all of my hair from you, my loose hair for the units, the uh, the permanent units, and all of that. So um, if y'all got questions, y'all can just fire away. Chen, because I can't see the questions, can you help me out with that? Yeah, I'll read the question. Uh, somebody said, how can they purchase the hair? Okay, do they mean the units or do they mean the human um, hair that I now sell, which you can do your man um, weave with this. Um, so I sell, one sell this and I sell also the unit. Uh, they said, uh, Courtney asked, are the units hand tied? The units are 100% laced. They are not are um, come pre-bleached, but you can go in and bleach them again if you want to. Um, the weft hair um, is machine wefted, but it's double wefted, and it's the best hair. I've been in this game for 30 years, and I've been doing extensions since I was 25, and I've been in a long time. So I know good quality hair. Um, I wear it myself. All of my, my clients use it. Um, so you're getting the best hair on the market, and I stand behind all of my products. Now, those products, Another question. now, you know them products that they put, you put, well, they want to know both. Talk about all of the units. And then, 
They want you to hit on all the units. Okay, no problem. So let me start with the Afro unit first. This unit is very, very versatile. This is a poly, as you can see, but this comes in poly and lace, all lace, and this is poly, which is considered a skin. It's not thin skin, but a skin. Now, this unit can be processed. When I mean processed, you can put a light texturizer on it or a relaxer, find the middle point and brush it all the way down and you can texturize this to the wave pattern that you want if you do not have a brush wave unit in stock or if staff are out of stock you're not limited to still servicing your client so this is a afro unit which comes in the 360 um wave if if you if you if you process it down but it comes in poly lace poly and lace and all lace so I love this one because this is very, very versatile. This one also, once you texturize it, you can blow dry it out. You can give the person braid. Um, you can give them the kinky twist. You can just do the two strand twist. You can do a lot with this unit. Um, I, I can't see any questions. So Chen's going to have to help me out on uh, participation. So I'm sorry if you're asking questions right now and I cannot see um, the question. Okay. Ken, are there any questions? Yeah, they want to know, do you show how to make the hair from scratch, like knotting the hairs one by one on the lace? I want to learn how to make it from scratch. You don't do that, do you? That's, that's yes, that's ventilating. That takes a lot of time and that costs a lot of money. But yes, I do do ventilating. But I only do it for like a special client. But ventilating is, um, it takes a lot of time and money. But if you are going to do ventilating, you need to have high-end clients because if you're going to ventilate, who are you going to sell it to? Unless you have really, really high-end clients because all the time that it takes to ventilate, which when I say ventilate, I mean this. This is lace in my hand right now. All lace, okay? And it's a lace 360 for the women, okay? All of this here you see was ventilated. To just do this right here alone takes a week. And this is not a full unit. This is called a 360. So you can see it's back, it's out in the back. So imagine trying to do a full unit and ventilate it yourself for a client. It's gonna take you all week. Time is money. You're gonna spend all that time and money ventilating for one client and miss 10 other clients and quadruple your money. I won't tell you not to do it, but I'm just making a professional um, opinion and saying that buy a unit already ventilated. Now, if you want to do that, I would say go ahead and do it. But if you can find some quality stuff, um, then go with that. Now, will I teach you? Absolutely. I sure will. Jen, I cannot see the question, my dear. Okay. Um, another person asked, uh, why, should, why should I buy units from you Versus going online, getting units. Uh, I went to your site and your units were a little higher than the one online. Well, I can answer that. Look, you get what you pay for. If you buy these cheap units online and you put it on the client, it's not going to blend right, it's not going to last long, and it's going to look like a toupee on top of his head. So you can go the cheap route if you want to, but if you're a barber or a stylist, you definitely want quality. Now, if you shortcut, your way on these units and get them from somebody else online that you don't know anything about. You don't know the quality you're getting. And if you try to cut it and blend it, it's going to be tough. The hair's going to be frizzing. It's going to be shedding. And then you're going to be upset because you're not going to be able to get your money back. And when that person is sitting in church and their hair is looking like an old lady's wig sitting on top of their head, no matter how great your skills are, you're still not going to be able to get it right. And that's your reputation and your work out there just because you tried to be cheap for uh, getting some cheap hair and saving a dollar. So you're going to lose clients. Now, Miracle Bar MD, you can add to that if you like. Well, I just like to piggyback on what you said. I had a client that called me a month ago and she wanted a, a lace unit for me. And she said, well, it's a little high. So she went online and ordered a unit. And the unit knotted up on her. She could not get her money back. And now she is out X amount of dollars. 
that same person called me today and said, hey, Melise, I know your stuff is a little more, but I'm just ready to pay quality. And when I explained to her, it's like a mink coat. A fox fur coat, you cannot compare. But a mink coat is the best, especially if you get a high, a high quality, nice mink coat. It'll last you for a lifetime. These units will last you at least a year. So that's an investment that you do not have to worry about buying again. You can buy a cheap unit, but you're going to have to toss it away as soon as you take it off. And everybody's going to know you're wearing a cheap unit. So my clients tell me everything. And they tell me um, how I can fix a problem for them. So when they tell me they have ordered something offline and they want me to install it, but then now the thing is matted up on them, my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do with some master's work. But I do stand behind my quality and I know integrity behind um, what I do. So this is a unit here I'm, I'm messing with now. The quality of it is excellent because I'm only going to sell nothing but the best. After being in the game for this long, I don't want anybody to call me being unhappy because I really, really love what I do. I'm passionate about what I do. And I want to pass this on to all my clients, um, future clients and customers. So um, you, you, you can guarantee that I'm going to get you a great unit because I want you to be happy. I want you to call me back and say, hey, this is the best thing I've had and, uh, that I could, could imagine. So um, you want to get quality. Yes, you can go online and order. But you may get just what Chen talked about, you know, not quality. Then your client is frustrated. You may lose that client because they may need that unit right then and there. And you got a bad unit. You can't use it. The client needs it right, done right then and there. You've lost money. You've invested time in that other unit. And you waste the time and money. And you lost money all the way around the board. At least um, I know I'm going to send you quality because I want you to be a client and a customer. And I'm only a phone call away. A lot of these vendors, you cannot reach them because they're not in the States. And they are selling volume because their goal is to sell volume to you. They don't care about the quality as long as they get your money. And then you can't get your money back. You got to email them. You can't get them on the phone. At least you can have, um, you, you can have me at your disposal. Yeah. And I can't I, see any more questions. I can see them now. They can call. Okay. Somebody said, what's the difference between Polly and the lace? Charlie want to know that. Okay, now, the poly, well, here's the lace here. The lace is very, very, very believe, believable, and it looks just like a scalp. So, again, it's, 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 it's um, breathable, and it looks really, really, really natural at the hairline. So, if you're doing someone who wants a really natural hairline, whether it be male or female, I'm bringing this in close. The hairline's going to look like this, and it's going to part just like a natural scalp. Now, you can part with the poly the same way, but it, it gives you the illusion that it could be something on the scalp. Poly does look natural, but it looks nowhere as natural as the lace. But for Afro-American men who are working out, the poly really, really does seal to the scalp well. Once you do the exfoliation, you clean the scalp really, really well, you can use the poly for Afro-American men to get the suction that you want. So the lace is a little more natural, more natural and breathable, but durability is the poly. I hope I answered that for you correctly. Next question. Um, the, uh, Monique said, what size are these units and can you cut them down if needed? A absolutely. You can definitely cut them. They come between the seven all the way up to a 10. Um, I always tell a customer, like a guy called me today, he saw me do um, a presentation for um, a class down in Nashville last week. And he said, you explained those units so well. This guy just saw it on Instagram live and he wants to order a unit. But I asked him, I need you to measure your client's head for me so I can make sure I am sending him the right unit. That's the integrity behind my product. A lot of companies, you just click online order, and that's it. I am a phone call away. You can call me and say, hey, um, I, I'm a little lost on what I'm doing here. I will tell you what texture. If you send me a picture, I will tell you what, um, how, if the person's head is a 10 or 12, I will even tell you if the unit is um, a little smaller than the spot you want to fill in. Other things you can do to make that hair stretch. So um, normally they start at a 7 and they make go out to a 10. A special, a special customized unit you can customize that. That is that will cost more, and take more time. And time is money. So if you can get a stock unit from me and make it work, that's what you need to do. 
but I'm only a phone call away with questions. Okay. Uh, she okay, said, next question. Uh, Wood said, do you wholesale units? So you give them a discount, like a wholesale. So they can contact you for that, can't they? If you hold, do yes, you um, the wholesale. Yes, the wholesale would be, um, right now I'm doing 20% off um, when you buy my units. So um, with wholesale, um, I was thinking about doing 25% off, which is a big, you know, you get, you're getting a good quality unit already at a cheaper cost. These units can go all the way up to $699. Um, I'm selling mine for $389 right now, and that's my special right now. So um, with a uh, wholesale, you got to buy 10 units, and I'll I'll give you 25% off. That's wholesale. Okay. Uh, let's see. Somebody asked, do you uh, teach classes like um, group classes or one-on-one -on -one classes? And if so, how can they contact you? Would You can, you can answer that, but y'all can go to miraclebarbmd.com. And when you finish talking about the hair, I'm going to go to your website so they can see how to do it. Yes, as, as um, he just said, you can go to my website, you can pick and choose what you want, um, what class you want to take, whether it's an individual, one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's a group class, um, whether it's a look and learn, and you, you give us your budget, and then we'll work something out so um, you then can get a class um, in your area. Um, I'm getting ready to do a class in Nashville in July, so I'm hoping to pack it out and and I am looking to show you everything I know. I'm not going to hold back. A lot of people are teaching classes and giving you bits and pieces. Um, I want to give you everything. I want you to be um, a beast at this and really, really go and make yourself some money. So I want to do three units when I do my class. I want to do a straight unit, teach these barbers how to do that. Because like, I do a lot of Indian guys and Caucasian guys. Um, um, we do a lot of Afro-American in our in, in, in our community, but you want to broaden your, your horizon and learn this straight unit and do some Indian guys and some um, Caucasian men. Um, the Afro unit, of course, I'm going to show you how to texturize that down. Use the same unit to do brush waves. I will bring a brush wave unit and I will show you how to do a, the ponytail. So, um, and this will be one class. Um, it will be advertised um, on Millionaire Barber's page, I'm sure, on my page. When you see it, you need to sign up. I want to pack this this uh this class out and just um you got you guys walk away on fire ready to go in this industry and set it on fire and 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 really make make yourself some money. Any more questions? Uh, somebody's waving, but I don't see. It's another question. Uh, let's see. Yeah. It uh, looks like Wood said how and how. Oh, that, well, uh, Col Colbert said, are these units hand ventilated or does a machine ventilate the weaves? Some of them, some of them are hand ventilated, but when, you, when you're doing mass production, these companies are going to produce the best way they can. So I'm not the company that makes them. I have a company I work with. So they are, some of them are handcrafted which those would be the more custom orders. But when they're trying, it's like McDonald's. When they're trying to do masses and trying to fill orders fast, they're going to do some machine stuff, okay? But you, you can get both. Of course, the, the handcraft is going to be more time and more money. Uh, next question, uh, Wood said, how important is insurance? Now, insurance is important. But you're going to find that sometimes it's tough to get the insurance proved, especially if the person's in a time working with time constraints. But there are um, codes and everything that you can use for insurance. But first, you have to go get your NPI number and your IN number and do your Dun & Bradstreet, and it's one more. Um, but the VA um, gives you, I think, 80 to 100%. So... When we do um, a class, I will um, talk to Chen and see if I can add in a couple of nuggets on how you can go through insurance. A lot of my clients pay, pay cash. Because the one thing about people's hair, when they don't have something, they value it so much more. Imagine losing your arm. Well, you'll find a way to find some money to get that arm back. Now, 
I do make it economical so they can pay me cash. But um, if, if you go through insurance, of course, it's going to be a lot more, but it's going to be more time involved, more paperwork. And I encourage insurance. I really do. I encourage going through insurance, especially if they're with the VA. And um, I'll be coming back soon with more information about that. Um, now, somebody, oh, Jamila said, are you coming to New Orleans to roll class? <clears throat> I would love to come to New Orleans. I would need at least about 10 people to come um, with the other accommodations. You need to go to MiracleBarbieMD.com, go on my website, um, fill out the form, um, and then uh, we will get back to you on based on what your budget is or what you, what you can spend, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one or group session. I would recommend bring me in for a group that makes it more economical for everybody. Okay. But I would love to come to New Orleans. But I'm going to do a class in Nashville in 30 days. Okay. So I said, do you do one-on-one -on -one classes? Can they fly? Show them where you're at because they want to fly to you. Okay, they can fly to Delaware or they can fly to um, Baltimore, Maryland. I'm in Federal Hill and upscale Federal Hill. They can fly into me and do a one-on-one -on -one, um, class for um, a half a day. And um, I will teach them um, how to apply, uh, what products to use. I'll just do it as if it's a client in the chair and make them feel like they're getting everything that day. Yes, I will do a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. There's another question. Somebody asked about um, the product, because I showed them a little bit of you doing the ponytail about prepping it. Yes. Somebody asked about what products were you using? Well, I was using products from my product line, which is the Posh Hair Care Collection dot com, www.theposhhair care collection. And I truly believe in these products. Um, I've been using these products on my clients for quite some time before I decided that I wanted to then get a, a product line developed. Products are the, yes, that is shampoo, I believe, That's a, or conditioner, but products are the key to healthy looking and healthy performing hair. So you're going to use great shampoos. I'll tell you what shampoo to use for what texture of hair you're going to be using on that client. You also can take these products and retail them to your client. Um, there's maintenance products that I, that I also sell, which I use on the products, whether it's a natural curl, a wavy unit, or a straight unit. Because, again, it's virgin hair, which is human hair. That is the um, shine mist you have right there. Yeah, that's the shine mist. Um, but all these products are on my website, and you can purchase these products from the website. Once the website is completed, you will be able to see what products are great for what unit or what type of hair you're using. Um, okay. But the products are excellent. Somebody said for me to go to the web, go to your website. Okay, I'm gonna share the screen. Okay. And okay. Then I want to talk some more about the hair, and then I share your. Um. Well, this is what I do want to let them know. I do have bundles. And this is for the man weave. If you're going to do the, the uh, single rows for a guy on his head. So instead of using the synthetic hair that you have to tap your head, you can't get in the shower, you can't get wet. I am now selling the raw virgin kinky hair. See it? So you can take this and do a man weave. Um, on your client. I guarantee this is the best hair. I use it all the time on females for years, but now I'm introducing it to the men and you'll be able to purchase this by the um, bushel on my website. Okay. Um, Chen, can you elaborate on why I use human hair over that other hair? Because you know the difference of what it does. Yeah, I told them uh, you cannot start it because the host has stopped it. Um, hold on. Okay. We're trying to get back on. Okay. Rename. I think you're the host right now. So you're going to have to uh, click that link. Oh, I'm the host. Yeah. You, you have to click on my video. Okay. 
Okay. Did you click on my video? Um. Well, I'm trying to click on it now. Hold on. So you want me to click on the video? Well, you see the little video camera? Mine, you had to click on that. Because you're the host. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay. You can now stop it because of Okay, this. now I click back, Vision. Um, it's showing the still picture. It's showing the still picture. You cannot start this video. Yes. The host has stopped it. Uh, let me see. Okay, let me go back again. Because I think you got, I don't know, hold on, I'm going to reclaim his host. All right. Okay. All right, so now, um, and then I'll beam you back in where they can see you, make host. Uh, okay. Click on your uh, your your video so they can see you. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay, it's back on. Um, you want me to go on the video on your website now? Yeah, we can go on the website. Sure, absolutely. You got a lot of hair back there and stuff. Do you want to tell them some more about that? Because we got people on here that don't. Well, work. yeah. Anything about hair? Okay. Well, all these are wigs because I do female and I do male. So any of you females that may be on here, I sell virgin hair wigs, um, all different textures, straight, wavy, curly, Indian, and top of the line Brazilian. Um, I strictly deal with high-end Brazilian because you can get a breakdown when you do Brazilian. So I do the high-end Brazilian, but I do raw Indian hair. And this right here is raw Indian. Some of the best hair on the market. This is a toupee here. Um, for an Indian guy or a white guy, or I even use these also for women because I'm getting ready, ready to do one. Show you tomorrow on a lady. So if you have a client that is bald at the top, but she has hair all around the edges, you can use this toupee on your women also. So this, you're not just limited to men. You li you can use this on women, give them a nice short haircut with, with taper sides in the back and use their own hair and it makes them look so natural. But um, I, I just sell, I'm in love with, with hair. As you can see, I'm in love with what I do. Um, it's like a breath of fresh air for me and I love sharing, but I sell from blonde, Platinum blonde all the way down to uh, like a 1B in a, in, a, in a black. And I sell all textures and all lamps. And, and I do custom units too. So like this, what I have on, this is a custom unit for the, that I made for myself because this is my look. So um, you can get a custom unit from me. Um, I just would need the measurements of your client, um, need the um, amount of spending that they have. And then we can just do something special for them also. I do cancer patients, people with lupus. Um, people with autoimmune disorders, um, and everybody. So this industry is wide open, you guys, and you can really take advantage of it by getting educated, which you're doing right now, and taking classes, asking questions, taking more classes, and then going and doing the units. And as you do the units, you'll get so comfortable with them, you'll just do them like every day. It's just like driving or riding a bike. You'll get better as time goes on. Um, in terms of talking about more hair, um, I also have 360s. In case you guys don't know what a 360 is, a 360 is for women, but you can customize and make a custom unit doing this too. Um, I don't know if we have a lot of barbers on or a lot of females, but for the guys, um, if you are uh, unsure of anything, my Email address is MiracleBarbieMD at gmail.com. Of course, if you send a message to Chen, I'll get the message. Um, or just go straight through my website, MiracleBarbieMD.com. Um, send a message or inbox me on Instagram, MiracleBarbieMD. And I'll be happy to answer your questions. I'm only a phone call away. Toll free number 1-877-993-2838. Okay, I'm gonna share that. Um, they want to go to your website, so let me share that. How many people do we have on right now? 
a lot. For the show? I'm, yeah, I'm Great. Okay, can I also share one, one more thing before you go to the website? Can I yeah. share something else? That there, there are other um, companies out here that have been doing the um, units for a while. And I've done a lot of research. I've even visited these places. And I don't want to call names because I don't want to get into that. But you all, all of you know who they are. The quality of work that I've seen is not the quality that I know once you learn, you guys will be doing. So when I say this, the industry is wide open in our industry. There's so much money on the table. So get educated, okay? Do a one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Do a group class. Have, have me come to your salon and I'll do 10 people at one, at one time because this industry is so wide open. And if you're tired of barbers cutting hair for 25 but, but scared to go up, you don't have to do that anymore. You can do one unit. A guy called me today. He's going to do a teenager who plays basketball. The child is 16 years old. The mother is going to pay $1,500 for the install in the unit and this is a child so it, it this is a big deal so you can make a lot of money at this um and the more you widen or broaden your craft with this the more money you can make um i just i'm just passionate about it. i just love what i do and i'm just thankful to the good lord that he has blessed me with so many talents and gifts and this is through my hands and i'm and i'm willing um and with 30 years in the industry to share with everybody so yes have me come and do a class. Have me come to me and get a one on one, or have me come to you. But when I do my class in July in Nashville, you better be there. Okay, be there. We're going to advertise it. Um, you'll be able to go online and pay, but you definitely want to be there. I would love to meet you all. I don't know where Chen is going, but um, and I can't see any questions. Uh, um, let's see what else I can elaborate on. Um, in terms of how you are going to um, make your money, if you spend the middle 300s for your unit and then you have the service in the unit at 1500, you've made your money back in some and then you can put money away and buy two or three more units and make more money. So you definitely can make a lot of money at doing this. You just got to learn the craft and, and, and um, be very skilled in it and not be afraid to do it and go do it. Okay. Um, it's a lot of people. Keep asking questions. Oh, okay, what's the questions? Well, I don't know what they are. They want me to go back to uh, Ricky, where you the video? Uh, yeah. Go back, go back, go back. Uh, I'm excited. Go back. Did they tell you exactly where they want you to go back? No, they asked about that prep and that product or whatever. Um, okay. So. Okay. I'm going to turn, if I turn the volume down, it'll be like two people talking. So maybe I, I'm just wondering the best way to do this, because listen. So you want, you want them to hear about the MD. I just- Hold on. Just, um, please set this unit. Talk now. Melissa. Okay, I, I can hear you. Yes? All right, now you can talk, I muted it. Can okay. So. Hello? Okay, now right here, Yes, I'm here. Right now, I am. That is a a brush wave curly unit I'm doing, and I am brushing in the waves with some curly cream from our product line. So that's what I'm doing. I'm pre prepping. It. I like to pre prep the unit because it kind of shows you halfway there what you're gonna get when you get there. So I like pre prepping my unit. I don't give you straight wave it what it is. 
but I'm using the product to pre-prep it. Now I am spraying it with a leave-in conditioner to make sure the hair is soft. It's 100% human hair, so you want to treat it just like it's your own hair. And all those products is what I use on that curl. It's like a preset that curl. So therefore, when I get ready to put it on the client's head, I see that curl pattern, and then it's easy to blend it into their hair when I'm about to get started. Okay. Uh, let's see. Go to the next one. Mm. They want to know locking the curls. Okay, that was that's what locked the curls in. Okay, so right here, the you can either lock in the curls by putting it under a cool dryer. I never use a hot dryer because then it will dry the hair out, especially if you're working with hydrating the curl. And you know when you hydrate hair, it brings more elasticity in the hair, so it's going to make the curl pop in even more. Then you can go in and scrunch it with your fingers, put them under a cool to a warm dryer for about five or ten minutes, as you can see right here, and... Let it sit under the dryer just to set it, but under a cool to a low warm dryer. And it's going to be there probably about five, maybe 15 minutes, depending on how much you have saturated. Okay. And then after it's been preset, it's ready for the client. Um, Any other questions? Let's see. How to properly apply the glue and adhesive, so you can tell them about that. Okay, no problem. Okay, now I'm about to apply the adhesive, and I have my strongest adhesive in my hand. And I like to use a brush when I do it, because it makes you feel like you're just painting. That's the artistic side that comes out. So and all of us are stylists, stylists and barbers have an artistic side. And that's when the fun comes in. So I take a brush. Um, the hairline has already been marked. I know the area I'm going to fill in. I'll have to fill in the perimeter first and then fill in the center as I go in. And as you can see, I'm putting it in now. Now, I only do one coat because this glue is really strong. So you only need one coat of this glue that I sell. And it's some of the best glue on the market. You only need one coat. I make it nice and plentiful, but only one coat. Well, I won't say too plentiful. Do it like normal. But um, once it dries, it's a little tacky. You go ahead and get your unit on, and it holds. I will recommend do not penetrate water for at least 24 hours, though. You want to give yourself 24 hours, at least. Okay. Uh, but as you can see, I'm doing the perimeter. I'm doing the perimeter now. Any other questions? Uh, somebody wants you to go to the website, so I'm going to go to your site. Um, okay. Uh, they said, is, the caller wants to know, is that the same adhesive you use to adhere wigs on women? Okay, repeat that again. Say that one more time. She said, is that the same adhesive that you use on wigs for women? Okay, now, if that woman is a non-surgical hair replacement customer, which means she has 85 or 80 percent hair loss absolutely yes if you're going to do around the edges i use a different glue which is a lower grade so it just depends i have a lot of women who um have less hair than my friend chen does right there they have only hair in the back so that means i can do a non-surgical hair replacement on them which means i can 
put glue from the front all the way to the back. When I get back here where there's hair, I sew that part. So yes, you can use my strongest glue if they have no hair and the hair is not coming back. If they do have hair and you just want to do the hairline, I use a different glue. So there are two different glues on the website that I'll be selling in the two different grades. Now, the strongest grade I only sell to professionals. The lesser grade, um, consumers can buy and you can buy also. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and Another share. Another question? Because uh, somebody wants to see the. Okay, so we go to the website and we scroll down. So they can click here to sign up for discounts. Then if you scroll on down, um, they can book you, free consultations, you do group trainings, private training, rep sign up. Let us, let's go down here. Uh, okay, that's some free information. You've been everywhere and been on everything. Okay, free consultation. So, uh, okay, let's go with Royal Hair Units. You wanna talk about that? Sure. Um, this is, you see the screen? Yes, that's the Urban Natural Wave Texture. So that's considered a brush wave. That's considered like a 360 brush wave. That unit comes in poly and lace. Most people do lace in that unit. Um, but that gives you the natural brush wave that's already, that's already um, with the wave pattern already set for you. So you can order that one there. Now, there is also um, different numbers in the curly brush wave. So you can go to a 10, 12, 15, and a 20. When you say those numbers, Depending now, can you explain those numbers to a lot of the barbers that don't understand? Yes, a six would be the, cur the um, kinky afro texture. Then a 10 would be what you see right here, which is really just a process down, one down. Then the 12 gets a little more wavier. A 15 and a 20 is like a uh, Dominican curl. So there is a difference. A six is like an afro or a soft afro. The um, brush wave is more of a 10, then you have a 12, then you have a 15 and a 20. The lower the number, the tighter, the curl pattern or the wave pattern, which is kind of afro -y. The higher the number, it's, it goes to more of a curly and then to a wave pattern. Um, let's talk about the, uh, the handcrafted hair, the human hair. Okay, I have some right here with me. You see it on Okay, the I'm selling these. Yes, you see those waves in the hair? That is actually one of my bundles that I, that I, I love this hair and I sell it um, a, a lot to a lot of barbers who want to do the man unit um, and they want to be able to scratch their scalp. They want um, their hair to be able to get wet. They don't have to worry about um, the fibers breaking down. They don't have to worry about putting um, colors in there, but we are going to sell it in a 1B and a brown. So I would specify that if, your client is a natural brown, I, I wouldn't even know that, or if your client is a 1B, which is almost like an off black. But um, this is some of the best hair in the market. I've been using it for quite some time, and I've tested it with um, doing the man weave unit, I'm sorry, doing the man weave, and it's excellent. So this will take the place of any synthetic hair that you were using. Uh, you wanna talk about this Indian uh, and, and can I can, can I add to well, can I add to the, the bushels before you go to that? Go back to the bushels. The human bushels. Okay, go back to there. Now, a lot of guys that I've been talking to tell me they charge two fifty to three hundred to use the synthetic hair. If you are now going to switch over to human hair, which your client is going to love because they're going to like the feel. The smell of it, it's going to be so different. You can now upcharge. You can charge $500 for this and for this service. Um, you may could charge six. It depends on where you are because now you're giving them something that the synthetic can't give. So I just want to elaborate that by you switching over to the human hair, it's going to put more money in your pocket. And I, 
I strongly believe you can get two heads out of this um, bushel. So you then spent one time, but made 500 to $1,200 off of two clients in a matter of hours for something that you're already doing. Um, now they, er, uh, Uber Cuts from out of Canada wants to know how long after they order does it take to arrive? He's in Toronto, Canada. Okay, now, um, I can do express shipping, but you would have to pay for that. Um, normally, I allow um, at least three days if it's in stock, and I keep a lot of stock anyway. But this is what I love about having someone that you can talk to. If that's your case and you need it there immediately, we can overnight it. You just got to pay for the expense of what overnighting would be. So if it's in stock, which I always keep in stock, and he wants it, today is what? Uh, Monday, and you want it by Thursday, I would then find out, or if you want it by Tuesday, or, or when, I will find out what it would cost to get it there immediately to you, other than standard shipping, and get it there to you, but he would just have to pay for the, the um, overnighting, or pay to get it there fast. So yes, you, it's at your disposal. Um, if it's in stock, I can get it to you as soon as possible. And normally I have I always keep stock. Okay. Uh, let's see. You I go on to the other units. Which one are you gonna be going? Okay, we can go to the um Afro Curly. It's the man weave curly unit. We can go to that one. Okay, guys, this one here is what I talked about earlier, the number six. This is the one that you can do the sponge. Um, a lot of the younger guys are wearing this look. This seems to be the trend of today. Years ago, it would have been you walking around with nappy hair, but today this is a style. So you would use the number six unit, which is our Afro unit, which comes in poly lace, poly or lace. Um, guys who are athletic would do the poly, um, but you can use lace and poly. For them too and then the breathable unit would be um, all lace but this is the number six which is the afro kinky unit and um you can uh do a lot with this unit and you actually have a lot of video tutorials where you're educating empowering and enlightening them about the units which is good yes so you're not yes yeah, so when you buy the unit you can actually, before you buy, click on the unit, be educated, and then feel secure about what you're buying. And then again, I'm only a phone call away. So if you call me or DM me, say, hey, I got a question, I will call you back. Or if you just call me directly, I can pick up. I'll answer your question on the spot because I want you to be secure and happy with your unit and always come back and buy. What's next? Um, we can do the, um, I can't see, it's the, that one there. You, you're clicking on it now. The Temple Indian unit. There you go. Oh, right that's there. the Indian guy. You want me to play that video? Absolutely, yes. My nice client, yes, absolutely. This guy normally comes in and, and gets his units redone I'm regularly. I'm, right now, I'm uh, 30, 40 years old. Uh, when I'm 20, 22 years old, that time my hair is fall down. So one of my friends used to work with me in my, uh, we, he's my colleague, and he gave me the Melissa, Melissa Venus number, and I come here, and she make me beautiful hair, more handsome. So thank you, Melissa Venus, thank you very much. Okay. Now, you got to go back, I think, to find his video. You got to go back one. Um, is it on Instagram, uh, YouTube, or what? Um, you can go to um, Instagram and find it, but it, it should be, it, sh it was on this site. I, I thought you had it on there. On the website? Yes, what? I thought it was on the website. Okay, well, let's see. Oh, yeah, we're here. That's him. Okay, go right there. There you go. Now you can see. So this is him. See here? 
So he's completely bald at the top. So when I get done, he looks like the picture at the bottom. This guy comes in normally every two months. We take it off. We clean the unit. We clean his scalp, get him prepped, get him ready, and put the unit back on. This is like his fourth application with the same unit. So this is what I'm talking about, how these units really last. And looking at that, the top of his head and the front and back, it looks just like it's his own hair. So again, you're buying quality, um, and that's what you're going to get. And you can color these units. So if the client has um, brown hair or black hair, you, you can color it or you can color it jet black. You can, you can do just what you want to with these units for them. And I will be teaching this class. So I want everybody who wants to know how to do straight units to sign up. Because I'm going to be teaching that class. Now you even have a thing on the 360 on your YouTube page. Yes. Follow your YouTube page so they can see. Today we're going to demonstrate um, the 360 Brush Wave Man Weave Unit. Okay, it's 100% human hair. It's again from um, my hairline. And uh, we're going to show you how you can use this unit to do the 360 that you guys normally do, but we use a unit, a whole unit now, which is really, really new for the industry. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Well, they can go to your YouTube page and um, get all of that. Let's see. Somebody said any classes in California. I'll come to California. We need 10 people. I will come to California for sure. I love California. That's one of my favorite places <laughs> in the U.S. for warm weather. Yes, I will come to California for sure. You guys got to get some other stylists who are interested. Stylists, barbers, get some people involved. Um, book me and I'll be there. Okay. Um, so they can and you can go to my website and book me. So they can just actually go and um, let's see. So, can, can you click on the website and show me that form that they would fill out to book me for a um, class to come to California? Can you show them that? Sure. Okay. Let me go to that page. So they will go down here and Look for group trainings. So they just click that link, scroll down and fill out the form and submit. That's simple. One-on-one -on -one trainings. All right, is there anything else you wanna share with them? Let me, before um, we conclude, What else I could share with them? I think I've shared a lot tonight, but I guess I can just recap and just say that um, thank you for having me on so I could share um, with everybody what my passion is and my gifts. And um, I hope all of you will come on board and um, get certified as a non-surgical hair replacement specialist. Um, and not will only be life-changing for um, your clients, but it'd be life-changing for you because you will be helping other people, but you'll be making um, money in doing what you love to do. And your income um, will triple, you know, set a goal for yourself. And if you've been looking for um, more clients or um, you want to make more money or maybe you're just making ends meet, um, change your, your, your thinking and, and add a little more to your skill set and, and you can just do just that. You can go from uh, making $100,000 a year to now making almost three, you know, um, and it's still doing what you love to do and blessing people while you go along. So um, it's late. I've been up uh, since um, probably about eight, nine o'clock. Um, I worked at my Baltimore location today, drove back home, did more people this evening, and I'm still up and I'm still passionate about this hair game. Because it's so much 
more. And I'm just glad that 30 years in, I'm still excited. I'm still having fun and I'm willing to educate everybody on what I've learned. Um, so um, let's get some classes booked. Let's um,